this thing working hello 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 I think so well happy Friday everybody I'm exhausted <laughs> it's it's been a week it's been a good week I hope you've had a good week uh, but this whole slogging through COVID is uh, yeah it's it's uh, it's making me yearn for like nice weather and being around people again. Uh, I got my COVID vaccine appointment requested. I'm just waiting now for the details on when I can go and get the needle in the arm. So there's that. Uh, it's been a really busy week. It's been a wonderfully great week for the fundraising campaign. Everybody knows that the, the playroom experiment has kicked off and I'm glad that there's always new stuff to tell, and uh, once we have uh, once we have enough of the family in here, then I'll I'll probably get to that. Um, but uh, yeah, today we're going to be doing the witness. Um, I probably shouldn't say this because I always miserably fail, but uh, just the, the fatigue really set in this week. And I, I would like to keep to time today. The problem is, everybody out there is so wonderful. 
uh, who takes you know some time out of their day to hang out here. We're streaming on Twitch. We're streaming on our YouTube channel. We're streaming on the Facebook Path of Play group uh, page. And I'm streaming on my personal Facebook page. So wherever you're watching, thank you for being here. I hope you're doing well. Um, this game that we uh, that we love to play, that I love to play, and that many uh, many folks in here really really enjoy uh, watching, so many people experience for the first time, is called The Witness. And if you're uh, not part of the Secret Witness Society, which is a wonderful Discord group, uh, this is a game where you are on an island trying to figure out why it's here, the purpose it serves, uh, made up of a series of panels that give you clues on how to solve them. You're basically drawing a line from one end to another, and... Uh, the meaning of the island and what's behind it, well, I'm starting to believe that everything that you maybe are trying to figure out is mostly philosophical. Nothing is as clear as day, that's for sure. But it's a wonderfully designed game, and uh, it hasn't given me any nightmares as of yet. Now, usually, usually, I just play The Witness and... I play till I'm done and I say that's that and I thank everybody and we we move on. But I want to do something um, a little bit unique today. I am uh, probably going to repeat myself a couple of times here as uh, as people slowly make their way in. In fact, you know what I got to do? You know what I got to do? I got to let everybody in the Discord know that we are on the air. So let me just... Let me give you all a nice view here. And uh, I'm just going to briefly let the gang know that the uh, campfire has been lit. So give me a moment, please. I've been noticing as of late, some folks have been saying they're not getting their notifications. So, there we go. Uh, yeah, so... I usually just kind of hang out until things get going. I don't just jump right into the game usually, but... Uh, I'm also like thinking maybe there's no point in just talking to myself. Maybe I should just start playing because I find once I start playing then somehow magically people start coming in. So, um, let me take a sip of my juice. Hallman, my man. Happy Friday, sir. See, you just got, I just got to be patient, right? Eventually someone pops in. How's your Friday been? Got to talk to you very briefly on uh, Shaggy Stream. I'm doing good. I I am r quite fatigued. It's been a, a very busy week, and I'm gonna I'm gonna tell that story later. But I'm good. I'm I'm good. It's sweet pain. Hey, all right. Well, I'm glad to have you. Hey, look. You know what? We're busy. We're working. We have jobs. There's other streams. There's so much to choose from. Um, I, I'm happy to be the first to tell you, though, I'm going to do something what I, I think it's a cool diversion today. Um, you've heard me talk at great lengths about uh, the Playroom Experiment project because it's the heart and soul of why I'm running this channel. But uh, I've also been very excited about the fact that we're placing that pinball machine. At least that's the intent. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to play a pinball game on stream. And I'd like to be able to demonstrate why uh, pinball is so awesome. And a lot of it has to do with the fact that it too has rules. It's a lot like a panel in The Witness. You look at it and you have to try and figure out what you're supposed to do. And a lot of people stop short at saying, well, here are some pop bumpers. Here are some stand-up targets. There's a ball. Don't let it go down the drain. Uh, but pinball has, uh, because it has a rule set, if you know what even some of those rules are, the pinball experience 
is so much cooler. So I'm going to be uh, demonstrating that for maybe about half an hour of this stream. And uh, I just want to briefly show that even if you understand a couple of the things on a, that you can do on a pinball machine and why you do them, I think people will appreciate that and look at that and say, uh, you know, that's, that's rather interesting. And I did not know that. Um, I'm just looking on the Facebook page here. Someone says they're popping in to see the problem is it comes up as Facebook user just popped in at the right time. Real time pinball talk. This must be Andrew. Andrew, is this you? Um, I haven't decided on the mountain or the town yet. They're both places I have to figure out. Fishies, good, good afternoon. Happy Friday. But the truth is... Um, oh, there we go. Yeah, let me go back to my... Bear with me here, folks. I just want to find... Yeah. Um, I'm streaming on multiple platforms here. So I'm streaming on Twitch, on YouTube, uh, my personal fa Facebook page, and the Path of Play Facebook page. So if you're on Path of Play, thanks for hanging out. Uh, oh, more money! Hey, what's your Twitch channel, Eric? Post it in here. Put your Twitch channel in here. So my good friend Eric Moore, I want to tell you about Eric here. Okay, this is really cool. I'm so glad he's here. Because I have to make... Uh, I'm jumping all over the damn place today. Anyways, I make these short video segments called The Playroom Report. And it lets everybody know... Let me bring back my full screen here. It just It's like these... The videos are like anywhere between 5 and... I think 1 got up to 20 minutes. But uh, Eric is a really good friend of mine. I've only seen him one time in my entire life in person. But he lives out in Alberta. And uh, last year when we... Uh, we were working on uh, creating some pinball tournaments in different locations around North America as we were trying to fund our first project. Uh, this was a year ago. This, this was one where we thought we had a partnership with a school and we had to make a tough decision on that one and we decided not to pursue it after a certain time. But Eric was one of eight people around North America planning a pinball tournament to raise some funds to help pay for the pinball machine. He raised uh, 500 bucks. And uh, and then all of a sudden, the, the partnership kind of fell through. So we touched base every now and again. And I said, listen, like, you know, before I take that m money from you, I need to know that we have something meaningful to do. So just hang on to it. So the f the funds he told me the other day, they, they literally just been like under a weight on top of his fridge for, I don't know, Eric, like 10 months or something like that. And uh Finally, this this project started coming back to life. Hulk Hogan started say, shaking his finger and said, the sleeper hold's not going to work, sorry. And uh, we just started talking last week, and, and his, uh, his uh, hard work out there in, in uh, Calgary uh, managed to raise just under $500. And because of that contribution, we now sit over $2,000 to date. So we're 17%. Uh, committed or completed towards our $12,000 goal. They consist of 14 one-time donations, one being from this pinball event. And we now have 27 monthly annual contributors. Uh, so the road to the first 100 is, is looking promising. We've had a really great first 10 days. And so Eric, you can see Eric's... Um, uh, I'm going to put that in the Twitch page too because he's watching me on Facebook. So I'm going to copy and paste that and I'm going to put his Twitch channel in the chat. Uh, Eric uh, streams pinball and he loves doing it. Um, and it's a great place to learn how to play more pinball. Uh, and this is the sort of the thing that I was alluding to is that pinball has these rule sets and some machines are really simple and straightforward others are a little more complex i'm going to show you a very simple pinball machine and then one that has a little bit more depth to it but to me these two machines are great examples of entry points if someone if a person's pinball experience is nothing more than um 
you know, flipping the flippers and trying to keep the ball alive. There's so much more to the pinball experience. And that's why you're seeing this rebirth in pinball because of, I think, one thing that's played a factor to it is a video game called Pinball Arcade, which came out quite some time ago. That was how I rediscovered pinball. And I ended up buying my first machine, which was a theater of magic, probably seven years ago, maybe something like that. Maybe a little bit, maybe a little bit longer ago. I can't really remember. Um, but when I realized, oh, pinball has rules, that that changed everything. I mean, imagine having a board game and just having a bunch of bits and pieces and no rule sheet. I mean, yeah, you're rolling dice, you're moving some pieces along, but there's no there's no connection to it. There's no meaning. A video game could could be the same the same way. What if there was no feedback from these panels here that were, you know, what we're playing here in the witness, right? So so I think that witness players will look at pinball and say, "Wow, that's actually pretty interesting because there's a correlation between f what to do with these panels and trying to figure out the rule set, and it's the same kind of journey that you can take uh, with pinball." So, so we're gonna we're gonna show those examples a little bit later. I'm already 20 minutes in, so I'm sure I'm gonna go past three o'clock. Now we'll see, um, but I definitely want to save a half an hour or so for that. Um, and I'll, I'll probably be able to show one of the machines for sure. I'm not sure if I can show the second one because I just realized I haven't installed. I have not installed uh, the, the pinball arcade on the new computer that I'm using. So I'll probably just stick with the one game today and spend a little time doing that. Now, fishies. I don't know if I answered your question, but I'm in town right now. There's still stuff to do here in town, but there... I'm quite aware that we have stuff to do in the mountain as well. Now, let's put it to you, fishies. And I don't want the answer to be whatever you want to do. Would you like me to stay in town or would you like me to go to the mountain? Fishies is going to choose today. And then, Hallman, you can approve the decision. Uh, exactly. See, I, I'm getting to know you people now. I know how you work. <laughs> so now I have to preface, you can't say this. So fishies, where should I go? I give you the power. Understand what power you have here. I approve whatever fish. How many lasers do I have? I have... Where's the mountain? I don't think I have 10. Maybe I do. No, I don't know how many I have. Let's count. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Only seven? No, there's got to be more than that. Two, four, six, eight. So I'm missing some, I'm definitely missing some stuff. Oh, I see the one from behind. You're right. I have nine. Yep. I see it behind now. Yep. I, I just caught that one now. Good eye. So the one in town I haven't done, which is over there. And that would be 10. And then I'm guessing the 11th one is in the mountain. I have a feeling. And I had a little accidental cheat today. You want to see it? You want to see my accidental cheat? Let's go. Let's go do that. Actually, let's turn up the game volume. Ooh. I don't hear the game volume. Let me see what's happening here. Let's uh, figure out what's going on here. You know what I find really interesting? The buses have canceled. Um, you guys are getting the audio, I think. Let's see.
Okay, you guys are getting the audio. But I am not. So, let me just monitor that. I gotta be able to send that somewhere else. My bus has got, uh... I unplugged my GoXLR the other day. And... So I have these, uh, special audio. Let's see, what can we do here? Hey, Rob! I will, that's interesting you say that, Fishies. It happened on Shag's stream this morning. Um, I was about to leave. And he said, uh... He said, uh, I was, uh, so he was in an area that I hadn't been. It was one of the puzzles in town that I haven't done yet. I said, I got to go because I'm, I'm seeing something I shouldn't. He's like, no, 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 don't go. I'll just go somewhere else. So he asked me where I had been. I had told him that I hadn't really, I still have to finish the town, the mountain and some stuff at the quarry near the boathouse. So he switched gears and I was just sort of popping in and out because I was still working. When I came back, he had done a puzzle in the Zen area. Uh, that I had, there was one puzzle I hadn't completed yet. Uh, Rob, I'm so glad you're here, man. Hey, uh, welcome. Uh, Rob Hastings is a, a friend of mine from back home. We grew up together in the same neighborhood. Gosh, I, we probably first met when we were eight or nine years old or something. Um, and he's, he's still back in our hometown, and I have vowed with Rob that when, uh, when we're safe to go back home, I'm gonna... Uh, go and visit him. We're going to play some games. I haven't seen Rob in decades. He's an amazing person. Um, so I'm glad you're here, Rob. Uh, we're playing a great game. I don't know if you've ever heard of The Witness or not, but it's a great puzzle game. And you'll be able to uh, kill your brain alongside mine. So there you go. Um, yeah, so I ended up seeing the... Oh, you're familiar? Are you familiar with The Witness? I'm assuming that's what that yep means. So here's here's the deal, Fishies. I actually said when I, I admitted it in his stream, and the first thing that came out of my mouth is Michelle is going to hang me for it or something of that sort. So <sighs> I pulled a Michelle. <laughs> oh you're yeah, yeah. Yeah. She's not gonna be she's not gonna be impressed, I don't think. But I'm kind of bumming here because all of my audio bus setups disabled because I had to reconnect my GoXLR unit. And I don't think it's coming off of a different computer. And I don't think I have a way of it even monitoring the sound. You, I, I know you guys can hear it, right? You guys can hear the game audio? It's like just a little bit of wind right now, if I walk. Pinball Profile? The Pinball Profile? Are you serious? Jeff? Is that you? Jeff! Oh my gosh. How amazing it is to see you pop in here. Jeff Teolis, ladies and gentlemen, amazing guy. Absolutely amazing guy. Has an incredible podcast called Pinball Profile. And it's, I love it so much because it's about the people that enjoy the hobby and you hear all of these really, really amazing life stories. It's awesome. Go check out his, his show. How have you been? Are you guys, how long's your hair? You get game audio, but no music. No, I turned that down. Well, let me bring let me bring that back. There we go. At least then I can hear something. Oh, good hear long hair. Yeah, I just take the zero now. This is, I got headbanger hair under here now, but I mean, there's nothing on top anyway, so I might as well I might as well keep it <laughs> short, right? So yeah, we're just uh, you know, as I think you might be aware, we kicked off our uh, fundraising campaign um, uh, ten days ago. Uh, here are the stats. I know a few people popped in, but let's just quickly update. 
We started, uh, I think it was like 10 or 11 days ago. So we're 17% of the way to the $12,000 goal. Uh, you know our good friend Jeff Jerry Power at Player One Amusements. He's got the last new in box Beatles pinball machine on hold in Montreal. Um, and the good people uh, in the Path to Play community have um, re- renewed the spirit of what we've been trying to do for a long time. And we have a tremendous amount of latitude in this high school in Petrolia who have approved the placement of a pinball machine in an alternative learning classroom. So you've, I mean, you've known about this project from day one, brother, and it's, it's uh, relieving. Um, as I said a moment ago, Hulk Hogan shook his finger on the third sleeper hold attempt, and, and uh, it's, it's back. So I'm really, I'm really, really happy. Really, really happy. Um, yeah, there's a lot of work to do, and uh, we have to be methodical about the approach because everybody's weathering a different storm right now, right? So we go into it with no expectations, and we just we live stream. I'm working on a pilot uh, podcast right now. Um, and it's one day at a time stuff, right? Schwam! All the way from Columbus. Schwam's in Columbus, Ohio. I should wear my toque for you again, eh? My Blue Jackets toque? I should... I'm going to put the Blue Jackets toque on on Monday. Your proponent is saving the mountain for last. What did Fishies actually vote for? I have to go back and... (laughs) I have to go back and... I'm not used to this two mouse thing yet, guys. He said... Fishies said... I'm going to say mountain. Keep some continuity between the streams. <laughs> but it is time to be wearing a Felino jersey. Was that a cheap shot? I'm sorry. He seems happy. He seems happy to be in Toronto. I don't know if I should say that. And not that he was miserable in Columbus. You know, uh, I did give Fishies the power, and and for that reason, I want to be a person of my word, and we are going to the mountain. So I think I have the game at BG level. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to reestablish uh, some of my audio connections here. I can't hear the game, but I think you all can hear the game, so that's good. Ladies and gentlemen, listen, we've got. We've got wisdom here. The locals, well, actually, even even the non-locals know how this works. But uh, Jeff T has said it best. Leafs are always good in season. It's playoffs where they choke and choke bad. And I, you know, I still remember, though, Jeff, how it felt. You know, when we have An- uh, Andrew Chuck and Sundin were around and um, McGillney, you know, you felt like they had the stones in place like when la beat them that one year it almost felt fluky to me i was i was always scared of buffalo when we got them in the semifinals but that year that we played the kings i really thought we were going to be seeing the habs in the final but yeah you're right it's like we get excited about having these good seasons and then it almost instantane like I, I, there's something about that where you just know Okay, hope you enjoyed the ride. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll tell you what. I have upstairs in one of our bedrooms a uh, it's a framed photo of the 67 shot. So they're on the ice with the cup. And it's got uh, Bauer autographed it. Mahavlich is on there. Uh, Eddie Shax signed it. Like, for having that kind of makes me not want to see them win the cup because I know when they do, the value of that's going to just tank. <laughs> so, yeah, I got to I gotta find my way up this mountain here. I'm getting... I like to get chatty. Teolis knows. I've... When he does interviews with me, he always has to tell me... I actually remember the first interview I did with you, Jeff. You asked me the question, and I got done, and you said, just so you know, your answer was six minutes long. (laughs) Uh, It must be nice having pinball machines in your house, though, right? 
uh, that's what we don't have right now. So we're we're leaning heavily on the video games and the board in the board games. Okay, uh, explain this game. So this game is called The Witness. Um, you're on an island, and the game starts with way over there in the corner. You start in this little tunnel, and all you're doing is solving these panel puzzles. And they come in numerous different forms. Okay? You're drawing a line from... This is the beginning. This, you pick a circle point, and you have to draw a line to the end. The catch is that... There are, there are a, a series of images. For example, in this case, you have these two white squares and these two black squares. And the puzzles start off really simple so that you can understand that these symbols represent rules in terms of how you have to draw the line. So I'm probably going to get um, mauled for explaining this to this depth. But this rule is that you have to draw the line so that the black squares and the yellow squares are separated by the line. They can't be in the same sectional space as you draw the line. Um, and you will encounter hundreds of puzzles in this game that as you go to different areas on the island, you will encounter different uh, imagery and therefore different rules based on how you have to draw the line. So I should forewarn that you're about to see some stuff where, and and the people that are in here watching, they're part of a Discord server called the Secret Witness Society. And and I only started streaming again maybe a couple months ago, and it, I just happened to pick this game. They love this game so much that they love watching people experience it for the first time, and I fully understand why, because they know these solutions, but the way you discover solutions in a, in this game is just profound. You you probably remember a game called Mist, and uh, the person that created this game, um, and you know, sort of spearheaded it, was certainly inspired by Mist. And this game is probably the best puzzle game I've ever played. Exactly. See, Hallman's in the UK. He said it best. We're here for your tears. And there's such a patient group. Like, a lot of... I'm about... You're about to see a puzzle that is going to take me some time to solve. They have forced me to go to the mountain, which I am in right now. And so, like, here are some more puzzles here. There's more puzzles over there. Um, and... This game is so brilliantly designed and it just plays with you. And so you can find yourself coming to a new uh, area and having no idea, like, you know, right away what you're supposed to do. You could spend an hour on a puzzle, but it's a beautiful pain. And somehow these people love it. This here, Jeff, is as close as you're going to get to the Wizard of Oz pinball. So, it's a brilliant game, and as you experience these puzzles, you constantly ask yourself, my word, like, how did they come up with this? You can't see it due to the camera angle, but his hand is glued to the mouse. <laughs> I, um... Uh, I'm, I'm running the game on a separate computer now because I'm trying to minimize like the power suck up that uh, live stream takes up. So I'm assuming, Jeff, you saw Doug Pocus post about some form of a, a replay. It was an interesting post. I have a lot of patience. Well, that's why, my friend, I play Pac-Man 99 outside of the streams, because you can play one of those in, in four minutes. So, by the way, there is a, a video highlight on the channel. I played Pac-Man 99 last week and, and uh, was fortunate to get my second victory. So if you haven't heard of this, it's... Uh, hey, DJ, welcome back. Happy Friday to you. And we have a raid. The Cornish Writer just raided our channel with seven viewers. So, Cornish Writer, thank you very much. Super P, how are you? And Ginkgo P, 
definitely some new faces in the in the chat today so welcome to the playroom experiment my name is mike broadcasting from the toronto area and thank you very much cornish raider that's awesome what a, always what a pleasant surprise anytime you get a little bit of a raid um yeah so uh pinball profile jeff uh and i we've attended this event in pittsburgh called replay fx i would say maybe about thirty thousand people attend it um it's a celebration of of the the preservation of gaming so you you could be sitting in a sofa playing an atari 2600 you could be playing one of hundreds of pinball machines that are available you can watch the best pinball tournament on the planet uh it's it's a wonderful experience and sadly they had announced that they were I can't even say going on hiatus. They were basically ending it and they sold millions of dollars of gaming materials and resources. And it, it to me, it was one of the saddest days in pinball because everything that Replay FX has done, they've been a great supporter of Path of Play too. Because when I got to the second year, Doug Polka, Elizabeth Cromwell, and the gang at this organization they sent seven pinball machines with me in a u-haul to keep in my basement here for a year so that we could keep doing our family gaming events here in the basement that's i can't believe they did that to this day so they're they they've there's so much more than just this convention where people go to i they they spent their years helping other projects through events and they had the, the pinball uh, galactic uh, tournament at replay fx so doug polka one of the people on the board and and key, like key components of this organization put this post out last week that somehow some way that at least the tournament aspect of it might be returning and uh thanks for the follow cornish writer writes about patsies pa pasties patsies <laughs> i said patsy and I've, i just re thought of the horse in uh, the, the 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 guy horse in monty python holy grail <laughs> oops <laughs> you're right about pasties what does that mean paste my eyesight's getting bad is that pasties or pastries Oh, see, this is where I need my NBC star going across and not if you live in the UK, you might not know what NBC is, but they used on Saturday morning cartoons. They used to have celebrities like educate us about things that we might not know about. And then this big star would fly across and it'd say the more, you know, like large pierogies. Okay. Now, is there cheese in a Cornish pasty? Or is it pasty? All right, Jeff. All the best. Uh, stay safe with your family. I'm glad. I, I hope you're doing well. And uh, thanks for popping in. Appreciate it. Cornish pasty size. Yeah. Pa pasty. Okay. Thank you. I'm glad I had the, at least the intuition to ask. Because a lot of North Americans would look at that and they'd say, oh, pasty. It's a pasty. I got to get that right. I think I need to find out how I can get my hands on these Cornish pasties. They do sound really good. Is it, what would be in it then? Is it like a shep shepherd's pie thing or something? Or is there cheese in it? I, see now I got to know. Hold on. Nothing substitutes Cornish Cornish pasties. Oh, dang, look at that. Holy crap, those look good. You got to get the you got to get the dough right though, don't you? Like the the outer crust. You got to get that right. Oh, man, that thing just wow. Okay. Potato, beef, skirt, onion, turnip. 
What more could you possibly ask for? All right, I gotta, I gotta make those. Now I gotta ask, do you home make them or do you buy them from a shop? I feel bad for Jeff. He saw absolutely none of this game. <laughs> All right, Robbie. You didn't get to see any of it either. We'll talk later, brother. Take care. Thanks for popping in. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> uh, you buy some delicious ones and some awful, yeah, petrol station <laughs> ones. Right. Stop off at the highway. That's probably, they probably have them at, uh, you know, I-75 in the States and stuff like that. I'm sure, I, I'm sure we, they're not hard to find here, but I probably just assumed them to be pizza pockets. All right. Here we go. I'm going to make, I'm going to definitely look up that recipe. We do shepherd's pie here a lot. So we just got to learn how to kind of make the, except we got to add the turnip part. It looks so good. Man, that looks good. All right. Um... I am so irritated that I cannot hear game audio. Trying to think of how I can send this somewhere. So I have these feet. Uh, it's a feature called an audio bus. You set these audio buses up, but I, if I go to my settings, I can't, I have to kill the stream. Okay. Here's my question. If I, I don't want to, I don't want to kill the stream. That's the problem. I think I would end up killing the stream if I did it. I'll survive. Screw it. I'll survive. Okay. So, we came here. The crimping, is that like the, when you seal the dough? You gotta be careful not to put too much in too. Yeah. So it's like a circular thing. You know what you need? You need one of those roller tools. You gotta get the roller tools with like the little round spike edges on them and then you roll around. If I were making them for myself, I definitely wouldn't bother with nice crimping. <laughs> Just make it pancake style. And then fold it like a taco, right? <laughs> Fishies is like, it tastes the same. Why do I need to crimp it? All right, let's uh, solve some Schneider here. Enough, enough. All right, so we've got, I gotta go, I have no idea how this integrates yet, but the point we left this at, th I know this is where I've gotta go. Uh, I. Th it looks like there's a cable running right there. So I know that has the power here for this door to open. I'm happy to assume that. The problem is, when I go over here, oops, I go over here, I like this song, and I can't, I can't draw like it's blocking me. So that door is not going to open without both of these things on. And this one needs to get over there. Uh, we got a mod in here. You know what to do, right? I get this at least once every stream now. Fishies, I think you're modded, right? Or Hallman? Might be. If not, I'll pass the baton, but we need to get rid of what we just saw there. I suppose I could just do it myself. Oh, there we go. Thanks, fishies. Okay. 
Thank you. We'll hand out some more swords. We've had a, a few more folks come in here since. I don't need mods to like be here every stream. I'd rather have like a large group of folks that I trust and then if they're here, great. So... I know that I have to do something. This, this puzzle would not exist <laughs> if it, it... Like... I need to be able to finish this in a way where both of these can be on. And I, I, I'm i happy to assume that because everything else has, you know, if there's a cable going to something that opens something, it never opens unless everything's powered. So there's that. Um, so these two lines have to be drawn in a way where I can get over here with the blue line, but I got to get to the exit. I'm guessing on this line. Now what's interesting is that I can't draw this anywhere. There's actually a lot of exit points here. I can't even go here. So The way I've drawn this can't even be right, because I literally can't do anything with this puzzle. So... Oh wait, do I have to go out this way? Alright. So... All right, Hamid. Sounds good, brother. Uh, is there another way I can draw this and satisfy this requirement? Wait a minute, did that light something else up? Oh! Wait. Oh no, okay, that's the same cord. But I still can't do, I wouldn't be able to do anything with this. Like, I just wanna see if I can do something with it. Is there a way I can? Okay. Huh. What about this? Oh, because they're in the same section. work. No, because they're in the same section. Oh my word. Alright.
This is interesting. So, I can turn that cable on as long, like, I've drawn this three different ways, I think, right? Um, so if that one's on somehow, okay, this is interesting. Hold on a second. So now I'm entering on the other side, but this time, oops. What happens if I just do this? Okay. Huh. That doesn't really help me, though, does it? Okay, so I didn't have... It didn't matter where I drew that line. It did not matter at all where I drew that line. So... Holy jeez. Hold on, here. It almost seems as though you can... They seem to work in tandem somehow. I'm curious about something. Because I noticed something about one of the lines. I noticed... Here... If I did this... This now leaves space to pull this out. I don't know if that does anything. But it's almost as if you have to try and reshape the puzzle somehow. I don't know if I'm explaining that right. God, I hope I'm onto something here. So could I do this now? See, now I'm wondering if I can draw the other side a different way now that these two have been sectioned off by this side. Okay. Hold on. I just, I'm, I'm basing all this on the fact that you cannot open that door without these two things being, like, I just don't see how you can, there's no, unless there was a, uh, maybe this is a waste of time, I'm not sure. Maybe there's a way to draw this where you could leave that side open, but I don't, you, <laughs> I think this is why there's a gap here, otherwise you would come around here, I think. And then you'd go up, and then, I don't know, you would do something, something like that. Yeah, you would go like this. Oh, I don't know what you would do. But these gaps are here for a reason. Anyways. Can I redraw this now?
Like, that works, doesn't it? If this is... There you go, Super P. I like my old New Orleans kind of... That's kind of what this reminds me of. Yeah. It's okay. Or maybe it was the last song you liked. Alright. Uh, if this is shaping up the way I think it is, this is really cool. They have really saved some uh, big bangs for this mountain. <laughs> what would how would the lyrics go? <laughs> You're a dumbass. <laughs> Just when you solve a puzzle, you think you're so smart, but you're not. Oh, you could totally, you could totally. You know what this reminds me of? Like, this is Family Guy-ish, right? Like, really offensive lyrics about how smart you're not. With <laughs> this kind of music. Super P, welcome to the family. Where are you from, if you don't mind me asking? Sometimes I get a little nosy. Do you have, like, an area which you care to divulge? I've just... I'm so fascinated that some people are in North America and the UK and Shag's in Australia. Shag's probably sleeping right now. I think Shag went to bed. You know, there's a lot of flirting that goes on over in Shag's channel. Have you noticed that? All right, what am I doing? What am I doing here? See, this is interesting. Because now I can do this, right? This is how I think this is happening. You you have to work both... Somewhere along the way here, I'm going to be able to keep redrawing this in a way where I can just shoot over to... In fact, I wonder if I can do it now. Hold on a second. If I were to go over there right now... <laughs> Shag's been... He's popped in a couple of times now, and it's like 4.30 in the morning. He just claims he has no schedule, to which I replied, well, then you probably don't have any children. I don't know if he answered that outright, but... I have... In watching his streams, I certainly haven't seen any of his kids jumping on the bed, so... Originally from Peru. Now I live in Seattle. That is a city I've always I've always wanted to do like the West Coast drive. Start like the Monterey Village or the Monterey Peninsula. San Diego even. Start in San Diego, just kind of work my way up for uh, like three weeks. But that'll be my retirement trip. So when I, in, in 15 years, I'll let you know, we'll meet at Cafe Nervosa. If Frazier and Niles are there, we'll buy them a coffee and, you know, Seattle strikes me as a pretty awesome city. It's certainly presented well in the movies and on television, that's for sure. You've done the drive. What's it? How much time did you take? Did you drive a bit and stop or did you just was it just about like shoot down and enjoy the view all the way down to all the way down to San Diego because it, fe it feels like it'd be fun to make drive like three four hours stop somewhere drive another three four hours it just seems like there's a lot to see and do along that uh, that's that would be an amazing experience route 66 is also another driving experience okay so if I get back to the other side the question I'm asking is, you did two weeks, stopped at a bunch of places. Okay, man, that's awesome. That is awesome. I'd have to play Pebble Beach Golf Club. 
that's going to be that's going to be half the cost of the entire trip. Schwam's in here. Schwam, if you're still here, you should meet me. Meet me there. Let's go play Pebble, Pebble Beach. See, I can't just... If I go back there right now, I can't just draw over here. You need forward thinking with these puzzles. You can't just say, oh, all right, that lit up. Now let's go back and figure it out. I feel like I need to... I, I can't not redraw something here. It's almost like I got to leave this out now, right? Because this would still qualify, right? Right? Right. Did I do it? Wait. Hold on. Hold on, Betty. Hold on. I think I see something. Do I see something? Do you see something? Do you see what I see? If I do this... Wait. 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 Uh, no. Hold on. Hold on here. <sighs> um, how is this drawn? <clears throat> it was drawn like this, right? That's not quite the right line. Hold on. I know when I'm on to something because everybody stops talking. Everybody's waiting for Michael to progress. Nobody's saying how many squares. No one's saying, do I want to nudge? Okay. What if I separate these? And then... Ah, I like this song. Bum, 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 Great tune. This reminds me of uh, the ink spots. Remember the ink spots? You got everybody should go and look up the ink spots. They had a song featured in Fallout 3. It was uh, I don't want to set the world on fire. Awesome tune. I still remember that that teaser trailer of theirs. That to me, I think here's a question. Let's let's ask everybody watching. What is your favorite teaser trailer of all time? For me, it's Fallout 3. It was so good. Okay, so now can I? Smash Brothers Ball 1 made a huge impression on me. I know uh, people went ballistic. What What's that game, Shenmue? When the third one came out, like, people were crying. They were, I thought, like, people were going to have anxiety attacks to the point that they'd have to go to the hospital. I feel like this is going to end with me, like, whipping around here. Like, just doing a little... Alright. What did I have here? If I'm... See, that's not going to cut it. Any... Oh yeah, it still works.
Maybe I'm trying to work the wrong side here. Oh, wait. No, that's not going to work. That won't work because it wants a friend. That's why this gap is here. So if, it, okay, so hold on a second. If it wants a friend, then that I can deduce from that, that on the other side, I can't include, uh, I'm not even gonna try and explain it. My head's just gonna be, you, you all stop watching for me trying to explain that. Either that or it'll be the funniest thing ever. <laughs> Somebody's gonna clip it. Ty, how you doing, buddy? How are you? I want to tell you that Luki and I, Luki, went through the Rayman Legends demo the other day, and he loved it. Loved it. So I think we might try another live stream with Luki. You can deduce he is lonely. That's You're imparting wonderful wisdom there. So let's rethink this here. Let's go back this way. I don't think I have... I don't think I have the other side shaped quite right. I'm doing... I'm very tired. Um, but I'm doing all right. Uh, I'm doing quite well, actually. Um, I want to tell you, I'll just give everybody a quick, um, in case anybody's coming in late. So, I'm getting faster at this, but I just want to tell everybody, now that, that we have the raid, okay, let me, let me, hold on a second here. We'll get back to the puzzle in a second. Because we have some new faces in here, so I just want to establish a little bit about what this channel is about. It's called the Playroom Experiment. It is, um, it's a mandate for a charity that I've helped run for four years called Path of Play. Uh, I would probably, I'm sure I would still be playing games regardless, but at the heart of this channel, it's not about me growing as a streamer and being able to have a subscribe button one day uh, nothing to do with that at all um, the playroom experiment focuses on creating inclusive gaming spaces for young people in high schools our first project just created our first partnership in a school we used to do all of these family gaming events for people that live with special needs my son is autistic and um, he's amazing and the gaming community and gaming experiences changed his life. He went from a boy who bit his arms, threw his head back, screamed at strangers. I hope he makes a cameo here today because he's got, he's got his own YouTube channel now. Um, I don't know if I still have the link here. Do I still have Lukey? Here's Lukey. Yeah, that's his YouTube channel. It would mean the world to him if you subscribed and to every video. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell for notifications. It's um, this kid, he's a true inspiration, and he's he's this beautiful, kind little boy, and he just he loves people, and he wants he was wanting to do this channel, his channel, because he wants to bring joy to people through gaming, and um, he's done so well. So I've taken that personal experience, and I've been working with a group of people for quite some time now trying to bring these inclusive spaces to families living with special needs so that they really feel like they have a place where they can go that they belong. They fear a lot of judgment. Um, it's, it's a daily struggle to find opportunities. Opportunities that many of us can experience at free will. And he's really taught me to, re to reshape my empathy and my ability to accept and understand. And so this project has uh, come up. Now, yes, it's a fundraiser. I don't if you want to support it, that's all well and great. But the thing that means most to me is that you just take the time to read about the project and at least understand it. That's the link 
that I've just put up right there, okay? It's a lot of information about what it is that we want to do, what we've done. We've had Microsoft as a sponsor. We've had Palladium as a sponsor. You can see, um, see if I can just scroll down here a little bit at least. It's hard. It might be hard to see, but there's the school that we're play we're basically investing a twelve thousand dollar gaming space. It's going to include a board game library, a Nintendo Switch with Super Mario Maker, and we're investing a, a, a brand new Beatles pinball machine. The Beatles pinball machine was made two years ago, and we're gonna this school. They're the only ones on the planet. I've never heard of a school anywhere in the world doing this, but they've given the green light for us to place a pinball machine in their alternative learning classroom. And it is unbelievable um, that they've done this, but they're really forward thinking because they they want to see a space where anyone can play with anyone, where it's not just, uh, you know, these kids play football, these kids go to concert band. We, we want to break these stereotypes and we want to give these families the thing that they've been dying for, and that is opportunity. You have opportunity, you live a better life. And I'm, I'm happy to say that thus far, the campaign's been going for 10 days. We've raised $2,000. We crossed the $2,000 platform or a plateau. Uh, we're 17% of the way there. We've had 14 one-time donations, 27 monthly annual contributors. Uh, it's been uh, uh, unbelievably amazing, this, uh, this kickstart that we've had so far. Uh, so if you can, just take a little time and read about the project and, and that that would warm my heart to no end. I, I wear my heart on my sleeve when it comes to this because I saw how it changed my son's life and we're trying to do the same thing for a number of other kids. I, I want to see them experience the same thing that my son did, okay? So there we go. Um, yeah, all right. Uh, you know what, I gotta start. I gotta start the song list over again. Let's just go and right at the top. How many songs have I got in here? 42 songs. So, all right, that's what this channel's about. That's what it stands for. There's too many kids uh, feeling left out, and we're trying to change that in this space. So, thanks for being here today. All right. Um, I'm trying to see if there's a way I can redraw this where I can end up here. If there's a way I can end up here on this side, then all I probably need to do Oh, wait a minute. Wait just one second. I hope that this isn't, well, <laughs> it usually is one of those puzzles where you think you're getting somewhere and then you're not anywhere. So you can't do this just outright because that's why the black and white note is there. Shaggy! I told you! I told you he was up. I told you he was up. It's probably about 4.19 a.m. there right now. Yeah, I had a feeling I was close, Schwamm. I feel like this is where you have to end up. So... This is where we were, right? I can't... Amazing puzzle design. All I know about Australian time is that if I'm talking to an Australian, they should be asleep. <laughs> well, hold on though. Hold on. That's not necessarily true. It could mean that you should be asleep. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't worry about that. No, that... D Listen, there's so much game in The Witness that, like... Don't even worry about it, man. You gotta stream the way... <laughs> Believe me. I have let... I know when it's time to leave a stream. And... It's fine with me. It's, uh, I, I, as a streamer, I'd be like, you know, yeah, please the audience and stuff too. But that, that's fine, man. I, I'm glad I don't have to work. I got, I got a little less work to do. I'm fine with it. You want to, you want to slip me some more accidents? Go ahead. <laughs> I know that there's going to be so much stuff I'm going to miss anyway. See, I just, oh! 
Oh, I see it now. Oh, yeah, but you can't... Wait a second. I can't get around the black node. Oh, hot diggity. So what I need to be able to do... I gotta dr I gotta be able to- oh, wait a minute. No, see, that's not gonna matter. That's not gonna do anything anyway. It's not gonna work. I gotta be able to draw this in a way where I can go to the other side and isolate a node. Oh, duh. Okay, hold on. That's... Okay. I think I see it now. Okay, this... I have looked at, uh, those things, Ty. Um, I love it. I love, um, that it does that. And I will eventually get around to it. I think this will do it, gang. I think this will do it. What a kick-butt puzzle this is. That was not the most painful hour I've ever experienced in this game. That was a good burn. That was a good burn. Whoopee! Don't speak too soon. What am I gonna see? What's gonna happen here? Excellently log log logic out double bridges. Well, I'll tell you... There are hints, right? Like, you... There are certain puzzle areas where you have to remember... It's like how Dad always, like, asks me how many squares, right? He's trying to... He's trying to keep me in line because it's... You, you've... For people who have been watching me since day one, my brain just, like, it farts in the most unexpected times, and then I find I have moments where my brain happens to work the right way, and I think that's what it comes down to. It all comes down to how you're thinking in this game, and it doesn't mean you're dumb or smart. It's your approach to the fundamental. And here, just having been uh, in the town where you had those three power uh, lines you had to... Um, it's in that room. I'm looking at that going, well, okay, the only way this is going to work is if both of these things are on. And when I solved the puzzle, this side, for the first time, there was literally nowhere for me to go. So, sneak preview question, how many squares? <laughs> Gee, I wonder what's behind this door. Now, this is the other thing too. I'm, I'm, I guess this is, whoa, what the hell is this? Am I in an elevator? And I'm in the, am I in the middle right now? Oh, I gotta go over that thing. Alright, so let's do... This? I must be already there. So what if I go down? Will it move? Okay. One of the critical lessons of the witness is learning to be aware of your own thinking. Which... You become unaware of at certain times because they give you a string of puzzle styles and then you it, it switches up on you when you don't notice Mike's alerts died again why what happened oh raiders somebody raided no no well my I missed it hold on a second here oh as as they're off wow I'm so sorry as they're off Gohart is here. Natsum Madeira. I'm sorry if I'm not Natsum Madeira. Schwam, Ty, Shaggy. Well, hello, everybody. This is amazing. We've got a raid. We've got a host. Thank you. Thank you so much. Welcome to what I believe to be the most satisfying puzzle to complete in the entire game. Oh, boy. Bonjour. Ça va. I don't speak a lot of French, but I have to speak something out of courtesy. Uh, 
I have rated in the I don't know the translation for vid maybe it's the hope the stream I've rated the stream anyways I am aware of the crime you have committed and to that I say merci beaucoup thank you very much my friend that's very kind of you to do that and welcome everybody to the playroom experiment my name is Mike coming to you live from the, Tor the Toronto area and I hope your Friday has been grand I hope your weekend will be grand and look at that dad gee what a surprise oh he chose me randomly I should buy a lottery ticket then that's awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> Everybody's doing translation lesson now. I, uh... Oh, board face, you haven't been here in a while. How you been? Nice to see you. Nice to see you. So we got, we got a nice little bunch here today. We got a nice bunch here. Thanks to everybody for uh, being here. Uh, I wanted to end my, uh, I'm glad to hear you doing well. Yeah, I, I took a break, right, for about four weeks there. I was explaining at the beginning of this stream, I have a strange diversion, and I hope everybody will indulge me, but uh, at, the, at the end of this stream, I'm going to put a pinball game on, and I just want to take 15 minutes and demonstrate that if you understand a couple of basic rules in a pinball game, it becomes a lot more interesting. Thing is, I know you're all Witness fans. I'm afraid to break that vibe, but I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it and we'll see, we'll see what happens, but stick with me because pinball is not just flipping flippers and keeping a ball alive. So I want to do this in bits and pieces because I think pinball is board games closest cousin. When you understand even just a little bit of the rule set, the shooting becomes so much more engaging. rules is magic if board games didn't have rules it's a, it's actually a close cousin to this game too right it's all about you see a panel and it is communicating with you the rules and the, the challenge with pinball especially the ones they make these days is they can be so overlit and overwhelming that you don't necessarily see the correlation between the components on the machine and when you break that apart and transcend through that roadblock with pinball it's just amazing the experiences you can have I'll give you a quick example all right education time here folks I want to show you here's a preview of what's to come all right give me one second here let's I want to show you a picture um, let me give you a nice view here oh my there we go all right All right, this I think will work perfectly well. Um, no, I don't like that. Let's. All right, I'll make this work here. Um, Bear with me, folks. Okay. What I'm about to show you is a Harlem Globetrotters pinball machine. Boardface loves pinball. Main complaints are one, difficulty of communicating the rules on the fly, and two, I feel it's slightly too easy to lose the ball, and that distracts from the rules and challenges. Except, Boardface, when you learn to control the ball, i.e., drop catching which I'm going to demonstrate in this pinball game. Live catching, which I don't think is easy to do in, the, in this pinball video game. Um, dead bounces, where you don't let the, you don't use the flippers at all. The ball can bounce to the other side of the flipper and you hold up the cradle. So I'm going to talk about all this stuff. But if you look at this screen, I want you to look at the upper right hand side. So you see near the top, you've got three pop bumpers, right? And along the right hand side near the top, 
You've got these four white stand-up targets with blue stars on them. All right, let me let me do some like real manual. So right, right in the center of your screen there. Okay. So what's awesome about this game is the way that you can uh, it's risk reward for the spinner shot. And so if you look along the left side, same you know same. You look at the stand-up targets on the right, and you look at the the spinner on the far left. It's like a little white square with a red or orange basketball on it, okay? When you start a game of Harlem Globetrotters, you put the ball through that spinner. The, the spinner, it's called ripping the spinner, and the spinner just flies. Every time it spins, you get 10 points, which is nothing. It's garbage, right? Now, if you shoot down one of these stand-up targets, it all of a sudden becomes 100 points per spin. If you get the second one down, becomes 200 points per spin. If you get the third one down, it becomes a thousand points per spin. And if you get the, all four of these down, this spinner is 2000 points per spin. And you've just been taught a rule on the pinball machine, Harlem Globetrotters. And that one rule alone makes this game so engaging because it's simple you know what you're shooting for and why and it is so much fun especially when you get that third stand-up target down you know that spinner's at a thousand points that's pretty valuable do you go for that fourth one and really try to rack up the points it is so amazing when the level of engagement the way it increases when you understand anything about a rules and the great thing about it is that you don't have to understand all of the rules so that's what i really want to demonstrate today at the end of the stream just for fun we're gonna do it so uh again i i really appreciate uh uh the raids um the raid came from i gotta go i gotta go back in the pasty chef let's uh I want to send my thank you to Cornish, Cornish writer. Really appreciate the raid. And especially uh, thank you to uh, Azeroth for the host. So welcome everybody. I think I've uh, gone on enough about pinball for now. Oh, Michelle's here. Michelle, guess what happened? Guess what happened? I was lurking, right? I was lurking in Shag stream. It's not his fault. But I saw a solution to a puzzle I haven't done yet. I I was lurking, I was working, I was lurking, I was working, lurking. I'm okay with it. It's less work for me, but the first thing out of my mouth is said, Michelle, I'm gonna be in trouble with Michelle. Work lurks. That's a hashtag. <laughs> Alright, so which one's the easiest one here, gang? Probably. Let's see here. Okay. Oh, this is a bummer that I can't hear the sound in the game. I know you can all hear the sound in the game, but I cannot. Well, not that my opinion matters, but I say screw work. That's what I say. Hey, I just, <laughs> funny thing is, uh, so I work on the CBC News Morning Show with Heather Hiscox. That's my my editing assignment for CBC. And my manager emailed us. We have we have three managers. There's too many managers in CBC, but these are good people, and we're lucky for that. But we got this email Wednesday, uh, uh, asking us to be at a Friday meeting. So as soon as we were done our shift, and they didn't explain what it was about. Friday's never a good day to have a meeting, right? But I found out that officially we are going to be allowed to work from home permanently as it pertains to this assignment. So I was so happy about that because it was sort of like in the works and you never know, like a corporation can, you know, kick you in the morale butt in a heartbeat and just undo everything, you know, that's progressed. So we've been really pushing for maintaining work from home because we get up, we get up at three o'clock in the morning, right? So you drive into work, all of a sudden you got to get up at two in the morning, you're dead tired, you got a nap in the afternoon, it's... Ah, look at this is like uh, this is like a special holiday on a Friday. 
Everybody knows everybody. It's great. You know how strange it is for a witness streamer to have all you people show up and they're like, Hey, Boardface! Hey, Schwamm! And the streamer's just like, what? What is happening here? We got a good one here. We got a good one here, Michelle. You know this is going to make me go past my, my cutoff time, right? I hope everybody's doing good today, because, you know, we've been we've been dealing with the Schneider for a year now. Um, it's been... it's been a time, that's for sure. Alright. That's not gonna work. Hello, Daddy! Everybody's really happy to see you, Dad. Hmm. Which one to eliminate? That is the question. Oh, now hold on. Hold on. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So my guess would be this would be the one. Huh. Y'all see my conundrum? Okay, how do we isolate one of these? This is in a bad spot for this one, right here. The starting point. It's not a good spot for it. But see, it's for- it's... What am I not seeing here? What am I not seeing here? How can I put these two pieces together? I have missed you. How are you doing? How are you doing? I am so happy about this. Ladies and gentlemen. Blake is in the house! How are you, buddy? I didn't mean to sound high pitch there. I really gotta learn how to use that machine. That's my soft-spoken introduction for the soft-spoken Blake. <laughs> Blake, you've just made my day, man. It's nice to see you. See, this won't work, right? That ain't gonna work. That's what, that's what it, that's what you want to be able to draw, but you can't. Thinking about working. Oh, okay. I gotta figure out the shift here. That's what it comes down to. Oh. Really? That was it? How'd I miss that? That's not hard. What was... What was I missing? All right.
you what you do the best thing about lurking with the witness dj is like you basically see a puzzle right and then you can look away and if you turn in 10 minutes you see the same puzzle you you probably know you haven't missed much this panel is a puzzle that's what where's the beginning point oh hot diggity would you look at that and what are the rules it can't be it can't be as simple as yeah it's a double line I had a feeling it can't be that easy okay so I did not satisfy any of these things so the piece that's here is the piece I have to accommodate in the bigger puzzle is that the deal here? How many squares? Six, nine, thirteen. Is there any chance I can look at this? Okay. Do I really want to go up that high? All right, so let's look at it from this side first. The problem is this piece. Because it's three wide and these I probably got it. No, well, I don't have to. I can look at it from this way, I suppose. Okay, so can I put, can I draw this in a way where I can put these two together? And then the two up top. So let's see if I can, I just want to be able to draw. I want to see if I can draw something here. I don't even know. Okay, I think I understand what needs to be done. But you can never, cr so you gotta draw it in a way. Holy moly. I just want to see if, see, that's correct. Okay. All right. So let's try and put these two together somehow. I actually wonder if all three of these have to go together, right? Like here. So I could come up and draw around this way, possibly. Oh, this could be anything.
Could I? The thing is, you can never cross. So, you need to be able to take advantage of this here. The problem is, this three-piece can't rotate. So, it has to go... ...somehow... It has to go with this piece somehow. Because you can't rotate it. It doesn't matter what row you put it on. You can't cross it. So you've got to be able to combine it with... Mm. You've got to be able to combine it with something. Okay, so that doesn't quite work, does it? I'm too lazy to take the elevator and look at this from above because then I... See, this could be rotated a completely different way unless it's... Unless this is the Tetromino now and not this. I wonder if this is the Tetromino. I'm not convinced that you can rotate this any longer. So let's see, how would we put these two together? Because this seems like the easier pair. I could be wrong, but like... Oops. Forgot the shape again. Yeah. Well, you could say 13. Oh, can you put them all together? All right, let me see if I can put them all together. Maybe I'm trying to split them. I, I'm, I'm thinking of it as 7 and then 6. But you know what? That doesn't make sense because 
in order to do that, you'd have to cross the center. I'm just realizing that now. Sorry. Okay. So. Look at you. I don't pay you the millions for nothing, Schwamm. Still have to figure out where they go, though. And just being a little bit... I'm a little bit... Numb. The brain's a little numb today. So if they all go together... Uh, I have mornings where it's not numb. I wouldn't necessarily subscribe to a full day. So maybe what I need to do is ride back up. What in the world is this? Does that go anywhere too? Let's go here first. Shaggy is eating a peanut butter sandwich and drinking a glass of milk at 4.53 a.m. Do I have that correct, Shag? We are having sloppy pizza tonight. I suppose this door shuts if I... Kill, hit the kill switch, right? Talk about the sloppy pizza more. Does Blake not like pizza? Oh, I could go to the edge, possibly. And look at it from there? Please. There's got to be a vantage point. This is ridiculous. That is just silly. I'm sorry. But that is one mark against this game. If you go out of your way to find it, it's probably a vantage point. I'm just yapping. Oh, well, let's think about this here. If we go to the middle, we only need to draw on one side, right? All right. Why does... Is it dangerous for Blake to be here? 451, yeah. They both know they're my favorite Aussies. <laughs> oh, but Blake's on the west coast of the United States now, right? Oh, one of my favorite. Ah, I see how this. Okay, I see. I see the text line now, Michelle. You know how this game works, right? You get so focused, you ignore the chat once in a while. <laughs> Sloppy pizza. Well, okay. The name of the pizza is McKay's, and they're bigger than your normal slice of pizza, so the pieces can get to be like. Here's my head. I would say they get to be probably about that long. They get about that wide and they're just like, they just, you pick one up and if you get the thin crust, it's just, it's the perfect kind of grease and cheese that you want on a pizza. And it just has that perfect hang to it. And you want, you just fold it and you devour it. You don't even breathe. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. I said earlier, Michelle, I said, you know, there's a lot of flirting going on in Shag's channel. 
it's 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 the push-ups it's the push-ups and the dips none of which you're gonna ever see on, on this channel <laughs> although I am thinking about having a 24-hour fundraiser and I know like part of the fun of that is like making the host do ridiculous things and something tells me y'all might have some good ideas so if 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 you want to help me form a committee for that I could probably use some help uh, I just want to get some tips on like how I can make a 24-hour stream fun other than just play games right I can't Oh, that's very kind of you, Michelle. Yeah, I would I would love to just have like a chat for an hour maybe in the SWS group one night and whoever's available just like I think we're getting to that point now where we um, we really just want to go for it so we can roll up our sleeves and get to work. Um there, we're also talking to a couple of potential benefactors too. So, we just crossed the uh, $2,000 plateau a couple days ago, so everything's going really good right now. I want to be able to... Oh, man. Okay, somebody tell me. Is it crazy for me to want to be able to see this from up top? Okay, well, here we go. I can do it. I could do it here, right? Sort of? Because I feel as though... Here's where I'm confused. Here's my confusion. All right, you look at this piece right there. Okay, it's a rotated Tetro. So what I don't know is if this now becomes the Tetro or if it's still that piece. And that changes the whole landscape of this puzzle. So I guess the way to find out is to treat it as if it's the lines. And I would argue that if I just put everything together, the way, like if I put this and this and this together and this, what do you get? I look up and I just see people talking about food. <laughs> and why is this floating on me? Okay. I draw this all these have to be included inside so I'm going to bank on oh let's read this here all right hold on we got some all right here we go let's let's uh, let's share shall we I can always use a break um, All right, so let's go through let's go through Dad's pizza story here. I didn't see it. So freshman year, I lived in an apartment instead of a dorm, had a kitchen, cooked a lot, decided to make a ginormous pizza. Baked it, top got gloriously done. Sounds good so far. Pulled out the baking sheet, magic tablecloth style. Ooh just for fun and the whole thing sunk through the oven grate that sucks you, I don't know if you've told the best part yet did you make any attempt to conserve that's the question, Dad. 
Re, like I'm trying to picture you there like imagine the the grate sitting kind of low so near one of the burners and it's going through and you can't decide if you want to stick your arms in there with like a towel or a plate or something just to try and get some of that sloppy goodness I pulled the sheet so the bottom would crisp up oh he's trying to explain himself now he's trying to still he's still trying to give credibility to the approach oh no it was gone because you'd have to scrape that off then be stuck on the burner wire like the burner rods oh man my mom I don't know why used to keep her bread in the oven I have no idea why and I fired that thing up forgetting it was in there and like her grate became all the wonder bread colors that night that's my oven story. God, I love the diversions. If the crust wasn't firm enough to sit on a grade, it wouldn't have been salvageable as some kind of bottom of the oven. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. I remember I invited a girl to Valentine's Day dinner one time at my apartment. Everyone want to hear a Valentine's Day story? <clears throat> so I decided I was going to invite this girl yes <laughs> okay here you go let's go full screen for this so hey I'm doing pretty good with the logo trans too this old guy's remember to go back nobody's had to tell me so so I really like this girl she was a vet her name was Stephanie and I decided to invite her to my apartment for a Valentine's Day dinner. Now, she, we had gone out once, but I don't think she was expecting the willingness to go for it. And uh, I got the old, oh, my friends are going to kill me if I don't go to this thing we planned. And I was like one of those naive guys. I didn't realize what a load of BS that was. So here I am still hopeful that she might show up. And I've got a roommate. My roommate's like just watching me do this. So she didn't She didn't show up, right? That night, I was uh, not feeling very good about myself. But I look back now, and I'm actually glad she didn't come because I can tell you what I cooked tasted god-awful. So it's interesting how perspective changes over time and uh, I'm okay I'm okay and that ladies and gentlemen is my Valentine's Day story <laughs> if, she did, if she didn't like me before the meal I can tell you she really wouldn't have liked me after that meal so either way my fate was was sealed said the meal oh my the places we go on a live stream sometimes those are the best moments right gang you're, you're streaming right and then you just like oh we're playing a game uh whew, I don't know I have oh man I want to tell so many stories now. One day, you have to remind me. You tell me when you guys are ready for this. I, I think that I have one of... Well, I shouldn't say this. I have a practical joke story that I think is really good. I don't want to say it's the best one ever, but this one, this one played out in a way that was... Oh, man. It was, it was good. It was really good. Okay. Maybe I'll tell it at the end of the stream. You're listening to W L O V The Love Station. Oh my, that woke me up. Alright. Well I tell you, I may be um, procrastinating with purpose here because 
Okay, so hold on a second. You want to hear I f oh it oh you want to hear it the story, all right I have to ask Michelle for permission. Can I tell the story really fast, Michelle? I don't because I don't know if I got this. Super P wants to. She's she she's the new blood of the family. I want to tell the story. I hope this is the only thing. Super P is now that I've like, you know, sold this. This better be good, right? Okay, here's the story. Just take the puzzles head on. If Michelle said no. <laughs> I need like a punching animation for my face king. Right? Because I got the sound, right? Which one is it? That one right there. That's more whippy though. I need a punch. Y you, uh, well, I'm a little scared of you. But like in the most loving way possible. So here we go. I used to work at a factory every summer it was called Acurecast we manufactured car parts you'd get a, you could get a student job during the summer to make some money so f factories where I grew up in my hometown they were really really good about that and um, it was myself I worked with a friend of mine we're still friends from my hometown Dave and we he was just a funny guy really really good guy easy going wouldn't want to mess around with him but like really easy to Get, you know, he befriended everybody, right? He was one of those guys, like big, strong guy, um, uh, but like a, like a heart of gold, right? So we often got paired together at our machines, and we were having, to, you know, we had a good time working together. But there was this other girl; her name was Amy, and Amy was more my age. She was one of the university students, um, and whenever we worked at a machine our job was to trim flash off of auto parts so you'd have an, a die cast operator working with you so dave and i we'd work at the machines beside each other basically amy was a little bit further down the factory floor <clears throat> and so she kept playing like jokes on us and one day she decided to grease you get this oil sometimes um it's like a cleaning oil for your hands. It's it's very slippery, but it works magic. She put some of that in Dave's boots one day, which I kind of thought was bold because boots are expensive. And I like, I don't know if that would have come out if you put it in the wash or whatever. Right. So, so Dave was really, he was annoyed in a good way, but he was like, I'm, I, we're going to get her back. So we decided we <laughs> I don't know who came up with the idea. I think I think I came up with the idea. I said, let's write her a love letter. Um, and we but we wanted to write it from somebody else. We wanted it to uh, we wanted it to come from this guy. His name was Mario. Mario was he was a very uptight guy. Um, not probably not someone Amy would be interested in. So the, the the original premise was let's write a love letter to Amy from Mario. And so that was the original plan. And so Dave starts writing out this love letter and it's all this business about like, you know, it's been a great summer. I uh, really enjoyed working with you. Um, you know, I know you have a boyfriend, but I, I can't let you go back to university without telling you how I feel. It's it's like even just saying it, I'm just I can I, I just I can see him writing this letter at, at our at our workstation. And all of a sudden I said, but wait a minute, who's going to give her this letter? Like she's never going to believe it's actually from Mario if if we're giving it to her. Right. So then Dave comes up with with the idea to switch gears and this and the gear shift was let's so you got to listen to this part this is witnessy let's sign the letter instead of it being from from mario or mario however you want to say it instead of signing it from him 
let's sign it from her her diecast operator Grant and then we'll go to Grant and tell him it's from Mario and if he would give it to her because she's never going to believe the letter if we give it to her so so now we've roped in some other guy who's never had anything to do with this and we're like, is this really going to work? Like, how are we going to keep a straight face if this actually starts to unfold, right? It's, it got deep. It got, it got deep. So we, yeah, the die is cast, exactly. So we go to Grant, we're like, listen, man, we, w Amy did this thing to Dave. We want to get her back. We wrote her this love letter from Mario, but she's never going to believe it came from us. So do you want to get in on this? And we didn't, he had no idea we were roping him into. He's like, that is amazing. I would totally do that. So... So he takes the letter and he didn't even wait. Like we thought we were going to walk away and he was just going to get, he's like, watch this. And all of a sudden we're there, we're frozen and we're going to watch this unfold. So, so he, he walks up to her and he says, hey, Amy, she's like, yeah, he says, this is for you. And she says, what is it? And he says, You'll know when you read it. Like, just even the answers he was giving was just gold. And we're standing there not thinking he's going to do this right away. And we're just trying so hard not to lose it, right? So we we just kind of like, okay, Amy, we'll just, we'll just leave you to it. We're just like walking away now. And we have no idea what to expect, right? So now we get to our lunch break. We know she's read this letter. We have no idea what's unfolded over, back over at her machine. All we know is that she got this letter from Grant. Grant thought it came from Mario. And now we're just waiting to see what's what's happening next, right? So Dave and I are in the lunchroom. We're in, the, we're in there first. And all of a sudden, these doors bust open. And it's her. And she comes and sits beside us. She's like, guys, you're not going to believe this. That letter that Grant gave me, that was from him. And we're sitting there going... You're kidding. She's like, yeah, you guys were there. And it was like, we tripped ourselves, right? Because the whole time we're thinking about the plan, right? She's like, he was telling me how he felt about me. And oh, he was like telling me how he knows I have a boyfriend, but he can't let me go to university without telling me how he feels. And I don't know what to do. And she's freaking out. All of a sudden, Grant comes in. And we're, well, before he came in, we're like, well, maybe you just got to kind of talk to him and defuse the situation or something like that. And, uh, and Grant comes in and you're sitting at like, you know, those cafeteria tables where you got a row and you're sitting with somebody. So we're sitting here. Amy's across from us. Grant sits at the table behind her and he's looking at us going <laughs> like this, thinking he's still in on it. Oh my God. He told her, he, Dave told Amy at the end of the shift what it really was. And I've never she punched him over and over and over again. <laughs> oh man, she she got a big taste of her own medicine and it just it just escalated to a point where as soon as Dave said, "Hey, why don't we why don't we sign this from Grant?" and we had no man, it was a moment I will I'll never forget. I will never forget. <sighs> okay serendipity at work john cusack right oh do i okay when someone says mike you've got this that tells me that this is not the hardest puzzle on the planet but i've just gotten so gabby i gotta figure out how like these here's how i'm looking at this these edges here these are clues as to how i can use them in the center row so I need to arrange these in a way I'm trying to figure out like how this, this is the easy part. Cause this adds up to five. But the thing is you can never cross. So there needs to be a tetromino, I think at, at on every one of these. Okay, hold on. 
There needs to be a tetrominal square filled in every one of these. Because you can never cross. So that much I know. But it's probably not as simple as... <clears throat> okay, well, can I make 13 squares and include everything? That's basically what it comes down to. Quit trying to fit the shapes, right? So let's do this. What have I got? I've got 13. Is that it? No. Because the pieces still have to fit. Okay. I thought it would be... I, Michael was trying to really slip one by the game here. And you should know better, Michael. What if it went... This, this three square one, this horizontal one, is such a royal pain in the butt. Because somewhere you've got to get, you've got to be able to get to the outside to accommodate it, and it could be in any one of these rows. Uh, well, there's 13 squares. And this piece right here, Shag, this uh, this one on the left side, <clears throat> it's a three-piece tetromino, right? The only way to accommodate it... Hey, dude! Ladies and gentlemen, you know what's coming. Your favorite part of the show. Hi, everyone. It's Lukey, everybody. How are you? Good. Yeah? Did you finish your school? Yes. Do you have any homework? In fact, we didn't really do so much today. Really? Yeah. I would love school days like that. Hallman says hello. Schwam says hello. Michelle says hello. Hello, Everybody's everyone. Saying, everyone's saying hello. I should back up so they can see your face. So, um, I want to tell you that we did no work today at all. You see? Well, 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 well. I did do one. I did do two works, and they're totally complete. Nice. It's the Pixin comic one. Yeah. You're supposed to make a comic. Yes. Of of how you can save the world. Right. And even one time, and even you can also, and even I also did a music one. It didn't take me so long to find out the beat. Now what is, oh, music beat. Well, that happens to pair really well with the fact that we're playing Rayman Legends, right? Mm hmm Now what's one way that you can save the world? Um, picking up trash. That's the one I did because, because, because I put my best friend in. Okay, who's your best friend? Olivia. Who's Olivia? Olivia's my best friend. She's your best friend. Um, Daddy. Yeah? I think I, um, is this the one line? Are you going to solve this for me again? this yes sure give it a try oh didn't work because there's these little things here you gotta you gotta have only a certain number of squares in your solution everybody ready for an accident to happen all right so if we pick up our trash 
we'll have a we'll, we'll be doing our part to save the world. Is that what you're saying? Mm-hmm. That's good. That's good wisdom. Are we gonna play more Rayman tonight? Mm-hmm. All right. You know what game I want to try with you? It's called Portal. Portal Two. The first one. Portal. Just the first one. You want to know the game begins. You're in a room, but mm-hmm. it has a toilet. You can flush it. Oh my. Yeah. You. Can, I think you can actually use it. You can actually use a toilet. Oh, I know what the toilet is. Yo, I sure hope you know what the toilet is. And you know what it's, it's the portal. It's, <laughs> it's so it's sort of a play off. Of, you're right. So we're gonna try that soon. Would you like to live stream that one day? Yes. All right. All right, Daddy's going to keep working here. Oh, Super P said something really cool. Yeah, I so- said it for a second. I want to have children just so they play the witness. <laughs> That's pretty cool. So I came to ask you if I can play Roblox. You can play Roblox. Okay. Are you going to play with Caleb? No. All right. I can play by myself. Yeah. Are you thirsty? Did you drink water? Okay, make sure that you've had enough water to drink. Bye, Lukey. All right. Oh, Lukey says bye, everybody. Everybody says bye. He's such a good kid. Okay. This can't be that hard, can it? So my theory, I know that you cannot cross. So every one of these squares have to be part of the solution. The observation that portal opens in a room with a built-in portal is a pretty good observation. I have to say, that is interesting. He loves poop jokes, so I just thought, there's a toilet, he's gonna love it. So we'll, we'll be doing that at some point. I like to see him give that a go. <clears throat> see, I can also It's a matter of, you got to situate these pieces in a way Problem is, I can't see what I'm drawing on the other side. It's such a pain in the butt. Okay, I just need to know, is there a better place to be looking at this from? Like, let's just deal with this now, because I'm not loving how I'm looking at this. I don't want to, I don't want to be looking for the best spot to, so how do you, where do you people go? You find folks. Yeah. Because this is like... Is it, is it just standing in the green thing and then looking at both sides? Like, what's from the floor? Yeah, so I should go to the floor. Okay, fine. Let's go to the floor. Oh. <laughs> um, right there. Goodness gracious. I'm very curious about something. Okay, that's not... Okay. Alright. Now I know my answer. You could... Hey, Zwoll! Happy Friday to you. I don't know that you've been in this stream before. My apologies if I don't remember properly, but if this is your first time in here, welcome. High school did Twelfth Night, and there's a line about how one of the characters make Scrape peas from her C's, U's, and T's. I never.
never know when I should be considering this to be a clue. Okay. Well, thanks for stopping in. I'm afraid you might have caught us at a moment where Michael here is uh, trying to knock his brain into order here because I'm probably going to go, how did I miss that? Okay, well then, if you solve it from the floor, that's enough to say to me I, I can focus on... I don't need to focus on the original Tetros. So these don't rotate. These are the pieces as they are. So let's... Can I start it from here now? It is, man. I'll tell you. I... It's amazing how you can have moments where you're just so stuck. Sometimes you solve the puzzle and you're, you, you're like, how did I not notice? Other times you solve puzzles that you wouldn't expect yourself to solve so quickly and you feel like God. And then it, it, it really, I'm trying to read some stuff now at this point about other people's experiences without uh, unveiling it and everything and luckily I've I've been able to do that but like it's interesting watching some people say like man I have like I can't stop thinking about it when I go to bed and stuff like that and I'm like wow like this game has a way of uh, owning you from time to time and uh, there's got to be moments waiting for well the town is driving me crazy a little bit. I can't figure out how to solve one of the panels. It's on top of a roof. And I see these branches, but I, I can't figure out how to find a solution. <clears throat> this game climbed inside my head and sat there for two weeks, yeah. Is that why you've been nervous to get back at it again? You just started again this morning, right? Right, Shag? Okay, so let's imagine like See, I can't. I wish I could go up this way instead, but I have to include this. Okay. So that means if I have to do this, the only piece that works is the one in the upper left hand corner. Because it's the only one. It's the only one that can... No, something's not right here. Oh, lordy. have to be drawn in a way like this game climbed inside my head and stayed there for five years wow just takes a sit in the background at times, yeah. What do I think is not right here? Well, I can't cross this. That's problem number one. And it has to be equal on both sides whenever I go up, except here. But like...
like, for example, <clears throat> this piece here, it's two. Well, okay, fine. Everything, every row has to be, it has to be an odd number and it has to balance. So you have to shape these in a way, right? So if I have three in this row, I'd have to have a piece that's two in this row. But whatever piece that is, like, that's, that's what I'm trying to sort out here. With the exception... That if you go up this side... You only need one square. If I'm making any sense explaining that at all. This is a puzzle where I'm just, I'm just staring at it, right? Like for example, these are six squares here. There are six squares there. So those go together. Those go together fine, right? But you have to go up this way. So where does that, where does that leave you? Now this, this could work, right? If I put those two at the top together, you got the three here and the three here. So these top, these two top rows of three accommodate those squares. So, if now we look at this part, how can this be drawn? All right, so there's, this is the trick, it's, it's seven. See, now the other way to look at this is... So wherever this three goes... Oh, good lord. And everything's got to be inside. Yeah, I've, uh, I've, I've drawn out the puzzles on paper and then tried to use, I mean, I could do that, but I've often found that the puzzles I choose to do that at for the, the solution's sim simpler than I realize. And then I overcomplicate it, but here it's, I'm trying to see where that three piece can go, right? Whatever row it has to go in is being accompanied by a tetro that has two pieces on the other side. It can't be rotated. It has to be horizontal, but that doesn't mean it goes exactly here, right? Okay. What if we put the two bottom ones? I 
don't think that does it. No, because they're not included. That's 15 squares. I mean, it would be nice if that was it, but that's not it. <laughs> it's 13 squares. Could it be just this? Nope. Okay, if we... I would love it if, like, mm, no, that's not gonna work. One too many. Five. Wow. This one is really hitting me in the face. So you can never have an even number. I was a little closer there. Just
So the three goes there. try and draw this out. I'm assuming the one in the lower right hand corner can't be rotated. I'm assuming that I'm supposed to be going off of what I drew, but maybe I, maybe I am supposed to rotate that. I don't know. I don't think I've ever drawn anything like this yet where it's actually worked for me. It can be rotated when you draw it on the small puzzle. Once you lock it into place, it cannot be rotated. That's, that's what I assumed. So I guess the question becomes, did I draw it correctly? Are you serious? If I come to find out that I can separate another piece, that would just absolutely suck. I don't think, I think I've got the, I'm, I'm going to go with what I got. Here's a question. <clears throat> Did this take anybody else a long time to solve? <laughs> I appreciate, let me say, I appreciate that so many of you are still here because this is, <laughs> this is so uh, non-conversational. I hope you love that question, fishies, because, man, we would never leave you. You guys, I love you for it. Because, holy crap, this hurts. 
Shag took Shag a long time. Yeah, but you're probably doing 100 push-ups in between. It's probably, that's probably the thing that slowed you down. Look at your arms, dude. Three hours? She got pretty lucky and nutted this out in about 45 minutes. <laughs> Shag, you walked into that one, bro. <laughs> Why are you still up, man? This man is a glutton for punishment. Jonathan, I have a funny feeling his middle initial is you. Jonathan, you low. The thing is, if you do this in pen, you have to... You, I understand now, Zol, exactly why you cut pieces out. All right, I don't have, what am I ripping up here? Just one second, I gotta yell Lukey to you, Lukey that his cousin can play. Since I know you're not going to leave me, I'm going to go set up my son's headset so that he can play with his cousin. I will be right back. Enjoy this awesome music.
make some puzzle pieces, shall we? Oh. Wow. Shell. But I wanted to be famous. Maybe I should, uh, Ty, I should be having, like, nursery rhyme music while I cut, learn how to cut paper. I am going to solve this. It just so happens I'm cutting up my MasterCard bill. <laughs> I'm used <laughs> No Hey I gotta go through I gotta go through this pain some at some point in time, right? So let's just deal with this. It's not a problem. I just gotta make sure I cut everything the right way. tell you one thing I sure hope I have the right pieces I need an you need an overhead cam for the witness don't you because nobody's gonna be able to see this sorry that's why I got the funky music on so that you can all at least bob your head eat your junk food whatever what am I missing here? I got one more I gotta cut. The mother of all tetrominoes. I hope... I hope I've cut these to scale. Yeah, but Ty, that makes too much sense for Michael. Although... Let's just see. All right, kitties. Okay. Here's a question. What has been the most annoying puzzle for you in this game? We've all played this enough times. We're going to try and, and chat it a little bit whilst I suffer here. You know what I could do? Never mind. <laughs> All right. The boat. Oh, the rusty thing? Yeah, I haven't been able to find anything there. be nice if those uh
have a solution but it it doesn't include the top two puzzles Probably the seventh or eighth puzzle in any sequence. So many, many pro, many annoying puzzles. I'm trying to think of what was the most annoying to me. It could be this one. Sounds like it was this one for some of you. First of all, I'm, wor I'm just I'm worried that I haven't I'm worried that you can isolate different pieces or that there's different ways to solve the puzzle the f like the four puzzles oh Fez I want to play Fez I really want to play Maybe I'll do that one next, fishies.
I don't want to say that there's no answer for this, but I'm just, what I'm worried about is, okay, just a way to show that I was repeating myself from, wait, moderator Schwamp Clutch. <laughs> Just a way to show that I was repeating myself from way back up there. Are you talking to me, Schwam? Like, what if it's... Sorry, what did I have here? See, it's not possible. There's no way for you to draw that square with this piece. Can't be... Well... Yeah, it can't be done. It has to be this. I only... T you only talk to me. <laughs> You're telling me there's another way to solve this. If there is a will, there is a way. Ugh, you people. Why do you hurt me so? I know you're not trying to hurt me. But wait a minute. How can you... There are multiple ways. Maybe try it. I am, I am, I, I am trying it, Schwam. I don't see it. <laughs> Unless, hold on. Fourth dimensional, Marty. <laughs> Doc! You're drawing it, but I'm not trying it. You're not actually finishing the puzzle to test it. Hey, Mike! Happy Friday. 5D chess. I need to call Sheldon Cooper. Okay. No. Whoa! Yeah, I see what happens. Thank you, Schwab. <laughs> okay. All right. So then... So then... progress yet well m mild progress I have shape options okay had a buddy I made stream this who did that constantly he would draw the exact solution but then back out and not complete it so it's a pet peeve now because of him <laughs> I always refer to it as willing the line like you're watching somebody almost get there and then you just you're like in your head you're like well, you can subtext this however you want, but it's like, come on, man. Was it Shags? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now this just adds a whole other layer of complexity to it. I don't want to cut more pieces of paper. All right. Let's see what I... How would you ever know if you've got the right pieces? How many squares? There are 14 now. 14 squares. I just cut a new piece. Okay. 
14 squares, but I don't have Cut the paper I cut the paper okay you see what you can get and think it through okay all right You're all talking to me as if I have these pieces right now, but I'm not. I'm still struggling. It's see, like I look at these two pieces and technically speaking, I could put them to no, I can't put them together. that makes the square now that I need right <clears throat> okay that gives me this but this is just These two pieces, they're just completely gouging me right now.
trying to think of what two pieces can go together here. What two pieces can go together here that can... So if this... That can't be rotated, though. There's no balance with those two pieces. You said I can't rotate this one. So... Hold on. Okay, this is easy to satisfy up here. All I need to be able to do is come into it with... Wait, one, two... Is there a way that I can do nine? You know what two pieces are about to go together in my mouth and corn on the cob. <laughs> I mean, I really want this to work up here. Right? I really, really want that to work. Because that fits so perfectly. So, can I set this up in a way... We're having, we're actually having Chinese food tonight. My son has vetoed pizza tonight. He wants his Cantonese chow mein. See, like this piece here, if it's like this, if this came here and the square went there, there's no balance. That's the problem. I know. I don't know. Do you want them? Okay, so a, a square is a square. I know that sounds silly to say, but I don't see how these two pieces go together with how this is. I mean, God of War. Great game. You guys are, are just magnificent for staying here. Well, what do I need to do if they don't go together? Well, I need to redraw, but... I don't know if this is the right way to think about this tie, but I'm, I'm only focusing on these two pieces right now. Like, I would love for this to just be like, this is it here. Be done with it. Like, I have these pieces cut out. Oh, let me play here with this. There's one extra piece. It's almost as if I need to have one less piece in all of this. And that says to me, this has, this can't be the square. Okay. I'm forgetting something important. Well, no, I know that the pieces can shift, right? I know that these, I just, I love how these fit together nicely into six pieces. They can't overlap, but I just, I love this fit. I just want this to work is all I'm saying. But I know like this piece, for example, can end up down here. And so like I have 14 squares. There's no way to end up at 14. 
It's always, it's got to be an odd number. Because there's five rows, and every row has to have an odd number revealed because of the way you draw this. So there's no possible way to end up at an even number. It has to be odd. So... Well, what if I add this to the mix then? No, you can't, but you can't have any rows with an even number. That's what I'm saying, right? There's no way to draw odd even when you, when you add the next row, like, you know, now you've got six, now you've got nine, now you've got 12, but this last row forces you to have an odd number. So if you have an even number of squares total, in this case, it's 14, right? Eight plus six, 14. Then you know you don't have the right squares. Do we agree that there's no way to draw this and have even numbers? Like, I don't see how, right? One, four, seven, 10, 13. There's no way, right? You saying no, there is or no? Yes, I'm correct. Is that, I am correct, right, Schwamm? It has to be an odd number of squares. We don't agree. I don't think we should let him be wrong. <laughs> okay. All right. Talking about this? That's 15 squares, yes. Um, okay. being foolish I get it no I I uh, First of all, <laughs> this music's crazy. <laughs> so, this you could do. So, hmm. how did I draw that before? Yeah. 
No. So this is happy. But if I draw it that way, seven and seven. <clears throat> Well, if there is ever thinking music, this is it. So I drew... I really want to get this. Damn it, I really want to get this. Yes, Swam, I, I know I shouldn't swear it's a family show, but damn it. Damn it. This was an interesting draw. I wish I could get over there more. Hold on. <laughs> yeah. So, Thing is, oh Blake, that's so kind. Because <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm I'm very intrigued by this puzzle. But wow, what a what a grind, eh? 
So it comes down to can I create two shapes on the right side that matches this? You can't put the square at the... I shouldn't say you can't because then there's always a way. Right? But... <clears throat> it's hard to imagine the square going at the bottom. Or sorry, the top. Because then you can't loop around. You can't... Unless... Hold on a second. Unless this is the piece here. Now, if I do that. Now you can do this. Right? Now you can shift the square at the top. did I do wrong there? Oh. It's this way. Sorry, gang. Should have drawn that properly at least. No. Uh, how's that? How's that incorrect? Oh, because the square is on the outside. Can't do it. So if the square was at the bottom, what would this look like? It would look like this. No, because that leaves it out too. Okay, that's interesting. That is an interesting little development, isn't it? You know, let me say this, Schwam. Thought processes just can't be judged by l having led to right answers, right? There's that whole value of deduction and eliminating things. And if, if something doesn't work, then at least understanding why, why it didn't work. Okay, so I think I'm going to work off the notion that I've got this part right. If that's correct, then how do I make that's the piece we want, except it's got to be reversed. All right, let's get our pieces. Kevin! Ladies and gentlemen, one of the most amazing people on the planet is in the house. My good friend, Kevin Chow from the greater Toronto area. He's an awesome guy. Kevin, I'm in so much pain, man. 
It hurts. Have you ever played The Witness, brother? Holy crap, this game. I said today I wasn't going to have any beer, but that that has all changed. Oh, nothing. It's <laughs> It's this game. <laughs> it's sweet pain. But you can't not look at it, Kevin. I was explaining to our fine folks in here why pinball is awesome. Watch Kevin. Watch watch the synergy between Kevin and I. All right? Kevin, what is the most awesome part? about Harlem Globe Trotters. When it comes to scoring, what's the best part about this game? I was telling everybody one specific like part of the rule set of this game that makes it so awesome. The spinners. You see what I'm telling you people? Do you see what I'm talking about? Ripping spinners. No brainer. So when you start exploring the pinball hobby and you learn about these things, it becomes extremely addictive. Okay. Um, okay, so we've got... I'm taking Zwoll's, uh, yep, spin all day long. Well, knocking down those stand-ups first, though, right? I was telling them about the stand-ups and building up the spinner value on the left. All right. So, here's the tricky part with this. The shape made there. If the square was up here. You could still. Could you? No, because it cuts it off. And then you got a whole mess there. Uh, so you can't. I don't think you can switch these. Gosh darn it. Oh, Kevin, go get the witness on. You should absolutely. You know what I would do? Because you know how to get into my vMix, right? I could bring you in and you could stream through my vMix from your place, I think. Could that work? Oh, no, because you're not on PC. You're not. You'd have to still feed the PlayStation into the PC. Hallman says I'm doing well. All right, so I feel like I've got this side. Kevin, this is also the music we've used for our Codename streams. Is anybody in here familiar with Codenames? We got to play that game together. It's a great uh, game that I've streamed numerous times on this channel. We should play some Codenames together. All right, see, there we go. Yeah, remember? You give the clue. This is my code names list. Okay. Oh, Super PE, you play too. Code names is life. All right, gang. Next Friday night, I want to tell you about something, okay? And I'll get back to this. So next Friday night, next Friday night, I'm, um, so I've been working at trying to, um, start a podcast and I know I talk about what the project of the playroom experiment represents, but next Friday I am having some, uh, parents join me 
on a live stream they have kids on the spectrum on the autism spectrum what's interesting about this conversation i think we're gonna have about five or six guests the interesting part about this conversation is that all of these parents i went to high school with now wallaceburg is that's where i grew up it's a town of eleven thousand people and we all went to high school together and we haven't spoken to one another in a long time i started reaching out because i knew some of the parents had uh, kids on the autism spectrum a couple of the parents have um they uh have attended our family gaming events in the past um but one of the parents her son is about to go to the high school where we want to build the gaming space and i wanted to get them on because i wanted to talk about opportunity and and I want them to highlight that that's the one thing that is often missing in their life journey. So we're doing that. But then after, maybe next Friday, we can play Codenames. Um, had a game of Codenames last night. Joe C was up against me. It was a nail biter, but he was the better spy master. Right, you're playing off of the uh, web app, right? So yeah, I'm really excited to have these parents on as guests because they very badly want to create more awareness as well. Um, so I really want to give them a chance to tell their story, but I think um, his, his name is Michael Hart and I don't have his photo up here anymore. I had a photo of his, mo his mother Denise said I could share photos of Michael, but he's going to this high school. He has had his struggles and uh, it's it's kind of interesting how the stars have lined up with this project and i've crossed paths with denise and her husband josh again josh and i so their son michael and denise and josh both went to high school we went to all the same, to the same high school but josh and i even played curling on the same team so we spent a lot of time together he's now uh, an opp poli like a police officer um and they're coming i i'm it looks like they're coming too and i really uh um they're saying they think they can make it but i really specifically want to have them because they're tied right into this project we're trying to start anyways that's going to be at seven or eight o'clock probably seven o'clock and then i thought i would um fire up some code names uh play this music and i wouldn't even mind if we played a little trivia murder party too on uh, jackbox so that's that's next Friday night. I know Shag can handle it because he never sleeps. Um, it's going to be hard for the UK folks. So maybe I'll play... Maybe we can play some code names in the late afternoon for our UK friends. Take a little break. I don't know. I'll figure it all out. But I would love to play some code names with all of you. So I got to figure out how to build this sucker. I like what I've got here. I don't believe you, Shag. You know what you should do? You should stream your sleeping. So when you go when you go to sleep, eventually, turn your stream back on. Leave the camera so we can watch you sleep. And then, only then, will I believe that you sleep. <laughs> And I, I really, Kevin would probably attest to this. I really enjoy running my version of code names, but for the sake of simplicity, that web app makes life pretty darn easy. But I'll tell you, Kevin, there's ways that I can bring some of the bits from what we used to do back. I, there's, there's some ideas that I have, um, but I'll, I'll build that and rebuild that in steps. Okay. I got to solve this sucker must. Oh, listen. Shaggy, your sleeping should be part of the 24-hour stream. That would absolutely raise money for the project. Would you do that? Would you do that for me? Watch Shaggy sleep during a 24-hour <laughs> live stream. <laughs> and then maybe we can... I don't know, man, that would be, that would be definitely the opposite of what you normally see on a 24 hour stream. <laughs> All right. See, I'm telling you, Shag, you can do no wrong. So Kevin Shag's in Australia. 
and it's 6.45 a.m. I got up at 2 in the morning to do my work shift. He's streaming at, I guess, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, something like that. And he streamed for a while, and, <laughs> and he's still up. Oh, man. Jag, I hope I meet you in person one day. All right. I've just been standing in this spot. What time it is. But it's funny. Uh, I Honestly, I wouldn't say it took a toll. It was just a lot of prep. So, you know, when you look at that app that they've got built now. I will tell... But you know what, everybody? There's a video on demand of one of our codename streams on this channel. Go check it out after I'm done or this weekend sometime. And you'll see, like, it was very game showy. Like, I would... I used After Effects to reveal all the cards and played sound effects and... Uh, it was, I, I was, um, yeah, I was, re I was really happy with what it turned into and people were, were extreme. We had, we took votes. So if people were picking words, we would take votes. People would vote. Some, some people on the other side of the team would vote for, for the wrong word or whatever. It was, it was fun. Okay. Yeah, this, yeah, he's, he's an awesome guy. Really awesome guy. All right, I got to solve this. I can't, I can't leave until I solve this. Did I say that? So I've got this puzzle piece. This is what we do, Kevin, when the going gets rough, we cut the pieces that we have to work with. Well, and this is the thing, right? So the music's the easy part, and then the sound effects is just a matter of timing. So I just have to keep an eye on when people reveal something. It might be a little bit delayed, but... But I could probably... I could probably hit it, and then... It, it, it's no accident. I don't... Is it fair to say that what we were doing kind of inspired the online app? Like, I do see similarities. If I'm being honest, like I could, I could still bring the assassin thing in. I could do my own overlay and just underneath it, let their cards re be revealed. And like, if the assassin comes up, we could still do that stuff. Right. So that's kind of how I'm thinking of approaching it was if I could use my overlay and sound effects in conjunction with the app and then just remove the after effects part. And then I never have, to, I don't have to operate after effects live. We could still do the voting. We could even still bring people on camera in if we wanted to. Like, even with a Facebook room now, it's pretty easy. So, all right. Anyways. So, I've got to figure out. I got the shape drawn down. I just don't see... What is OBS Ninja? Yeah, I say that carefully though, Kevin, because... Like... But it's just one thing you weren't privy to are a lot of the conversations I had with them over at the company. And it just... But whatever. It's, it's, I'm glad, right? Like, I'm, I'm really, really glad that there's a way for people to play that amazing game. That's really all I care about. But I would like to, um, I think my overlay I could probably still use in some ways. <laughs> what is OB? I know what OBS is, but what is OBS Ninja? It's a way to share cameras with people and you can use it. Well, okay. So that's what I have. I have vMix Call. So I give you a web. I give you a web address, you come in with your camera, and it comes into my software as an input. That's how you're doing your pairs gaming then, right, Michelle? When you when you have someone on your stream as a guest, that's how you're doing it. 
So that came out. So vMix, they had it first. They had vMix Call, and it you can they have another feature now that you can use, but I think it's called SMS or something like that. Okay, that's cool. I cannot find a way to pair this together and make the same. Like, can I make the square? Yeah, that's cool. I'll do some research on that because that might actually be an easier vmix call I f found is hit and miss with some people but maybe they've improved that <sighs> I don't want to be so foolish to assume that this was this side was left correct like I look at this and I say well it works right the left side is happy this side is not. And I know I have to use one of these kinds of pieces, but like I'm sitting here wondering. So I know this is the right piece because if I did this, that would make it eight. Oh, she just first named you. Dude, she just first named you. All right, one moment here. What if I go back to, what was it, this? Is this what I had? No, 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 no. No, 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 I had this. That's how he knows he's in trouble. How far can that arm reach across the pond? You better be careful, man. You better be, you best be careful. I just don't see. So. not right. Oh, I thought I had it, but I don't. This is so, so rough. How do I put these two pieces together to make that same shape? I don't see it. I'm flipping in everything, gang, and I can't. Hey, mommy. He wants Chinese food. I'm live streaming. You want to come say hi? No? <laughs> you look fine. Come say hi. I'll give you a thousand dollars if you come say hi. Anytime you like. Yeah, I think if you order dinner around 10 o'clock, I should have this puzzle done by then. This is a painful one. No, you just order food, you tell me when to come up, and I wrap up. 
Yeah, you're the boss anyway. I just said that to the world of nine people. How many people are watching? Oh, we got 16. Oh, wow. Well, now everybody's going to know. Thank you, everybody, for staying here. <laughs> this is... <laughs> I have made no progress at all, and <laughs> the audience number's gone up. I love it. Oh my gosh. Yeah. She didn't take it, Kev. That's how you know people are going senile, because they've been in the house too long. They don't even take free money when they're offered it. I want to see if I can make this side work now. So I just want to forget the other side for a minute. 17 people? Well, that's awesome. This is tension. <laughs> Thank God there's no countdown clock. Uh... Mike's offering me a hint. You know, I want to say yes, Mike, but oh my gosh, the feeling I'm going to have if I figure this out. Blake, you're the bomb, baby. You're the bomb. Kevin, you won't believe the amazing people. So there's this Discord called the Secret Witness Society. The people that are in here, a lot of them have played this game thousands of times. And I, when I started streaming a couple months ago again, I just picked a witness on a whim. And all of a sudden, there's 10 people in there or something that day. And they're talking to each other like they know each other. I'm sitting here going, what is going on? <laughs> it comes to, come to find out they are on a Discord and they purposely look for new people playing this game. So now I have this whole family if I, if I need, like, chromosomes or something, they're all going for blood tests. Yeah. Besties and pasties. Right? Am I right? Am I right? Besties and pasties. Okay. I want to try and see all I need to do is see if I can draw this to satisfy this side and if I can't then I don't have the right pieces to begin with this is not drawn correctly but I gotta do it in a way I think where that whole middle is eliminated Not bad, eh, Holman? Once in a blue moon. Oh, Super Meat Boy. I got to play that game too. The death count. Games with death counts are amazing. I've got, I, when I played Celeste Ty, remember that? The video game level? You found the old video game? I died 542 times just on that level. It was, oh, it was so painfully fun. I got to, I got to finish that one too. Death counter games are the best. Have you tried the new Meat Boy, Kevin? I, I, it came out where all you do is jump. You don't control the, mo the movement of Meat Boy. Okay, so if... Oh, wait a minute, though. No, see, that can't happen that way. What is happening here? Okay. So, if... You gotta draw this in a way... Hold on. Hold on. Mm 
There's a game I watched people play and it just made you so frustrated. I can't remember the name now. Celeste. That was the game. I need a shout out command. What's a sh <laughs> What's a shout out command? Or an auto shout out. What did I do? Oh, Halo Knot. Halo Knot. Hi. So is a shout out command when someone comes in, they type something for the first time and the channel recognizes it? Oh, a Wolby. What about... Hold on. Let me back up here. Oh, I missed my raid again? What did I miss? Weaver's thing for Wolby. They're now hosting to... Oh! Wolby, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're right. I Well, I've, I do have it. I do have it, and I've just got to get it set up again because it's the sound effect. The sound effect will draw. That's what you need is the sound. Right? Yeah. I have them on Streamlabs, and you know what? I'll tell you why. I, I figured, oh, I'll always be looking at the chat. I'll catch it, and it's my fault because uh, when you get focused on this puzzle, you just zone out, and then you forget, right? So let's, first of all, Wolby, I apologize, and I thank you for the raid. And I, uh, yeah, I, this puzzle has been creepy. <laughs> uh, I've been so entrenched in it. So, man, I can't say sorry enough. I can't say sorry enough for missing that, but you gotta know I appreciate it. So welcome, new people, to the Playroom Experiment. My name is Mike, broadcasting from the greater Toronto area. And, uh... Halo, I can tell you, with, without a doubt, everyone seems to have suffered on this puzzle. And the thing is, like, I'm enjoying it, but a little part of me feels like I'm dying inside. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have that auto shout. Uh, I'm gonna get my Streamlabs notifications back in order for the next stream. Yep, Blake, thank you for uh, slapping me in the face there a little bit. Here we go. There. There. I just hit myself. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, it's, 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 it's very, uh, these pieces are not symmetric, so that doesn't help. Oh, Jump King. Yeah, I haven't played that yet, but I bet you there's some good compilations out there for Jump King. I have got to try that. What can I do here? Okay. Uh, 
I don't feel as though this piece is right. Wait, maybe? Oh, man. Strange Carter, how are you? Happy Friday. Thanks for popping in. I think this is the first time you've been in here. Uh... Hope you're doing well. Thanks for coming into the most excruciating part of the witness in my books. You know what it is, everybody? It's that when you normally get to a panel, you know the pieces you have to work with. Here, it's not just solving the puzzle. It's figuring out, like, what you can really do. I mean, now, my whole mind shift has changed because I was under the impression that I had to include this middle part I don't think that's the case anymore. And I'm trying to figure out... You know, and when you get something promising like this, and you've solved one side, well now I'm saying, okay, well how can I... Is there a way to get these pieces... Like I'm working with uh, these paper pieces, okay? I think I've lost one. I don't even know. Down here. I don't even see how I can take these two pieces and make that shape. So one of th one of these pieces are not right. so far don't say so far What if... What if it was like, okay, no, that's not going to work. I didn't even get to my question. This square is... The other thing I was thinking about was like, what if, what if these pieces shift over here somehow? So like, but even then, like, Halo Nod, thank you very much for the follow. Appreciate it. I just about missed that too. Yeah, we gotta get the Streamlabs notifications up again.
I will fix that gang. There are so many layers to this puzzle. It's the double line. It's... You don't even know what... I can't wait to find out what is behind this door. Oh. They're even giving you a little preview. Okay, well, I mean, I have been told that I'm sort of on the right track. I just, every once in a while, I have to do this just to feel better about myself because this is very <laughs> it's very yeah just try stuff exactly that's fair well my one idea shag was taking these tetros and shifting them over to borrow the middle but then that's going to automatically negate any equilibrium between the line I think like That other piece, was it a... Yeah, it was the other way around. <clears throat> Have you worked out which shapes you need to use? That's a great question, Wolby. I mean, I've got seven here on this side. I've got seven on this side. I would presume, given that these are both fours, that this four is out of the equation. So I feel pretty confident that this is definitely a piece. Now, the thing is, it could be this piece, but when I take this piece and this piece, and I know that I can flip them around courtesy of Zwoll, I think said that quite a while ago. Yeah, I'm trying to work off of these pieces, but I can't. I got the square and I've got this. Can I match this somehow? <gasps> oh, no. That's not right. I wish that... Hmm... I just can't get it to work with the paper pieces that I've got. I'm trying so hard to... to find it, and I just can't. All right. Can I make the most I can get out of here? Okay, so there's, let's think about this for a second. If I brought this back, I wonder if everybody's screaming, no, that is not possible. The lowest number I can have on this side is seven. That's the lowest number I can have on this side, which means there's no way this is part of the equation because you'd be forced to take six. There's no way you can get eight. So I know the square is definitely part of this. The question becomes, I have a jam. I have gone to pieces. I've got them all, my friend. I've got them all. 
I know that the three is out. Now, if I look at it this way, this gives me seven. If I use a three and a four on this side, and I use a four and a three here. So, I mean, I'll just see if I can figure out a way to draw it, I guess. I don't even know if that's possible. I know I always say that, but... Um... Oh, wait, that's not the shape. That's why. Hold on a second. Your favorite? How long did it take you to solve this one? I've been asking everybody. Most people are saying longer than I would have preferred. <laughs> I don't see I don't see a way to get this one into play though and I really do think I am onto something I felt I really felt strongly that I was onto something with this side you solved it while you were lying in bed you're like the Queen's Gambit Jeez, dude, that's impressive. Well, here's where I'm at right now. This worked nicely. Up this way. For the left side. Uh, so, left side is happy. <clears throat> well, I didn't even finish that one, but... So, I mean, this is what I've... This is what I've got. I got seven here. I've got seven here, but this is, these are not balanced shapes. That's what I don't like about this. Is everyone else closer to this separation way? And when you choose these pieces for this puzzle, at least I don't see it, but like I'm getting the impression the idea is to draw this in a way that you're isolating two on each side so that you can leave out the entire middle and then that's where you get your even pieces right you're removing five is everyone else closer to this separation way the way everyone else solves it okay 
Is there more than one solution? I shouldn't even ask that. Like, this is what's weird. I, I don't... I don't... I really don't want to know anything because... I know that solving this is just like... Guzzling a big, a big beer. This will be the third time I tell you that this puzzle has multiple solutions. <laughs> uh, you've told me a few times in this gaming experience. Yes. See, I would have loved... Loved. Oh, wait a minute now. Hold on. You've seen it done multiple ways. Oh, you've said it three times in this situation alone. <sighs> Probably super P because my brain power is limited and so much on this puzzle I forget things quickly <laughs> I should know what I've been up since 2 in the morning Shag's like Pfft. yeah so how do I find balance here First time I watched someone on stream solve the way opposite of me, kaboom. Okay. I still am just astounded, like, seeing them come up with it. Just coming up with this stuff is... He actually said in an interview one time, he's like, coming up with puzzles is, these puzzles is some obvious, some, in some cases, not as impressive as people might think. There is a documentary about the puzzle creation, and I didn't watch all of it because I didn't want to have any spoilers, but. Yeah, I mean, I started on the notion... I started on the notion that the center did play a role. But with the center... If you leave... If you, if you try to tackle it this way... I still would submit that there's no way... To not have... If you try to include everything... Like this... It, ha it would have to be an odd number solution. Which I don't have right now. See, Kevin, this is... If you're still here, this is why people watch this stream. Because it's the whole multiple solution thing. And then you've got these expert seeds. It's crazy. It's just crazy. Even numbered solution or an odd number solution. Yeah. The six line six puzzles is impressive because they found a way to lead most people to solutions that would fail on the next panel. Right. Gotcha. I feel a sneeze coming on. Oh my. Ugh. See, it's interesting because you could go here, like the three and the seven. And then you could bring this in, the four, the four uh, tetro, and have seven that way. Then that brings you back to. F well, wait a minute. Okay. I shouldn't do this. I don't think this is going to get me anywhere. Yeah, because I can't. Uh, 
Oh, it hurts. Schwam, it's funny. Our Steam friendship just, I think, told me just what you loaded up. <laughs> I felt like I was closest when I had the four squares honestly Blake like oh. plus I don't I don't see how I can draw this piece and isolate it oh man alive is a given. Okay. Let me look at this here. I'm worried I'm not going to get this in time, gang. This is where maybe the nightmares begin. The witness cryptic. See, what I loved about those two at the top, I just love how they make six perfect ones. <clears throat> but then I'm like sitting here going, well, okay, but then how do I... How do I make something equal between the two pieces at the bottom, even if I'm like, I'm playing with it in my head?
So if there are two, if there's more than one way to solve it, then one way to solve it must be being able to draw this in a way that you can eliminate the entire center row. And if that's true, then it means you're combining the two pieces this way. And if that's the if that's the case, then this piece would be wrong. Because you can't have see why does that's the interesting thing. You draw okay. So what is what is this thing super P that he's doing? It's a cryptic a witness theme puzzle. Oh, okay. So he's doing a crossword that's witness based. Is that, am I reading that right? That's, I should be keeping my focus, but I don't want to ignore my chat. I've missed two raids and a host today. <laughs> I mean, I can't stress this enough. Thank you everybody for being here today. trying so hard to, to sort this out. I mean, I can't even put these two pieces together to make the same shape. Can I draw this in a way that... Uh, see, this is where it is, right? See, it doesn't... It doesn't jive. I'm getting so buggy I can't remember how the heck I solved this how where I Oh there we go. That didn't work. Did it work? Oh, wait a second.
Why am I brain farting here? Jeez, a loo. <clears throat> Yeah, it's, and sometimes it's hard to pick up on that flexibility, right? When your brain is so focused on one part. I, I just, I don't... If you bring this three piece into it, I feel like the only way to solve it is to by then start including... Like, you can't... You have to be, use the center at that point. Alright, let's do this then. Let's go to town. I concur, Blake. It's got me. I know you don't want me to say sorry for that, so I won't. But man, is there stuff to look at? Can I look at stuff? Doritos. Can I do that? Okay. Well, there's a little victory. Can I get out of here without having to redo anything? Wait a minute. Oh, yeah, that's right. I'm locked in, aren't I? I can't get to the other side. Ugh, forget that. <laughs> nope. Nope, 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 nope. Not a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, Blake, but I'm stuck here. This just became like saw. Can I like cut off my leg and <laughs> find a key somewhere? Uh, I still remember that first one when those two guys are trapped in that room and the guy's like, I'm gonna get you out of here. And it was just so contrived that the <laughs> the audience started laughing and we're, in a, we're 90 minutes into this horror movie. I'm gonna get you out of here. <sighs> okay. You have no idea. <laughs> Dad, I know how many squares there are. My problem is trying to decide what pieces I've got to use and how I can draw this most ridiculous thing. Well, be <laughs> I finally did something. <laughs> Uh, that was completely accidental. I'm just like, can I look around? All right. Dopamine for me. I don't know if it is for you. I've got to do this, gang. I've got to do this. I'm just... I'm walking around like I got to pee. That's all I'm... I'm like, I, what is it that I'm looking for here by moving? Honestly. <sighs> Okay, this is my this is my cheap thrill all the time. I've got this. But I don't necessarily believe that I've got it per se. Like it works on the left side. But see when I look at this side. Here's the other interesting part. With these pieces even if you shift them around. Okay, here's an interesting observation. 
these two pieces here if you're going on the notion that you need to draw the lines in a way that you're eliminating the center column with these pieces that I've got your line there's only two ways to switch those pieces your line would be stuck going all the way up to the top tell me if this observation is right because these pieces are three and two so even if you switch them everything here needs to be highlighted and the only way around that is if you started at the top See, you can't so let's say I switch this you can't you can't wipe that side that way you're gonna block yourself out on one side or the other how many options do each of the smaller panels have there's two so what I'm what I'm getting at is if I can draw this in a way even if I can draw this in a way where I can start around this side Just two, all of them might be too spoilery. Well, each panel has two pieces, so you pick one of two. Is that what you mean, JM? How many options do each of the smaller panels have? So these smaller panels. No, there's more, there's probably more than one, two options, but you have two pieces to pick from this probably has four so what i'm trying to get at is for example if i draw this this way all right now this is drawn in a way where i can use the right side you see what i'm getting at No. Hold on. Hold on. I think... Let's go back to this. And let's... Some of the panels have resisted having more than one others may have even more than two because of rotation yes that's what I mean yeah see like I don't think I think there's one solution here I don't think there's a way to isolate this um And if you include, yeah, I don't think that there is a way to, I had tried this just for fun, right? So swapping the pieces. But it has two friends, so that's why that didn't work. 
So I feel as though like this is the only option you've got for this piece. So what would be nice? Okay. Okay, so now I've got this side. Now, hold on a second. That allowed me to draw a square. That allowed me to draw a square. So, so, so we were kind of talking about, I, I kind of, I don't know if I had explained it, but my issue was with the piece that I had, it was forcing me, everything there had to be included. And what it resulted in was, uh, by default, you lock yourself out. There's no way to draw a line like that. Because you either lock yourself on this side, uh, it just doesn't work. So I was, tr I was basically trying to say, can I make one of these pieces where I can loop back so that I don't have to use this side at all? So this was, this was it. This was it, right here. Okay. So I think this is right. Now, I sure hope that's the case. If that's true, is it just a matter of, I hope this is right. I'm not even trying to calculate it. I'm just switching it. I'm not even looking, not even looking to see if this works. Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Oh! <laughs> Alright, I gotta go look. So there it was. There it was. Yep. <sighs> Do you have any idea how afraid I am? Yeah. And nobody, nobody hinted at it. Like, kudos to all of you. Kudos to all of you because, you know, it'd be so easy to get, like, how... I only know of one game where you can get joy from nothing happening. That's the best way I can explain it. I am not 
at all interested in the odd number solution fishies. <laughs> oh boy. All right. It's uh, almost 10 to 6. I'm afraid to. What is happening here? This is turning red. Oh boy. Yep. So. I am. <laughs> oh man, if there was. Hey, did that switch on me? That switched. Hold on. While I was standing on this, this thing's. What the world? is going on here there we go there's a cliffhanger if there ever was one bugger face if I get off of it okay so you can do one at a time oh it still switches oh all right ladies and gentlemen my end, the music track is done. Can you believe that? The music track is done. Shag's been banned. We can't even say goodnight to him. 1-2 PC. I hope you've been able to enjoy this a little bit. Wolby, thank you. Uh, thank you to everybody for... Uh, there, were, there were two raids and a host, I think, today. Um... So I really want to thank, uh, let's see, who did we, who did we have? Um, well, we certainly had Wolby. We had, this is why it's good to, we had our gentleman, our friend from France. I shouldn't say gentleman. He was not, that person was not identified. I really want to, uh. Oh, Squishy Sushi. I didn't even get to say hello to you. I'm glad I'm scrolling up through this a little bit. I am uh, pretty tired myself. Zol, it was nice to have you in here. Um, where is it? Oh, it only remembers so much. It won't even let me go back. All right. Well, I know the pasty guy hosted me. Uh, the uh, something writer cookie. What was it? Something writer and Av Avril Avril uh, from France. But thank you for the raids. Thank you for the hosts. I'm going to fix that stream lab so I can keep better track of that. That's kind of embarrassing, if I must say. But I know that you all will. Let me live another day. Um, but we got to get that right because it's that's that's not fun when you're rating someone and you don't even notice it, right? So I I apologize. I really 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 do. I'm so glad that we could solve that thing, <laughs> whatever that is. Something tells me there's more waiting for me, and it mean it, it, it it's just amazing. It's amazing that you all uh, hung around here on a Friday afternoon with me, a Friday night. Thank you, Cornish writer. Thank you, Cornish writer. That was the one. Thank you, Dad. Uh, thank you for everybody for watching. Have a great weekend. We'll likely see you on Monday. I always say likely. I never know how my life is gonna go. It's crazy times right now. Uh, much love to all of you. Take care of yourselves. Eat your vegetables. Balance it off a bit with some french fries or some junk food, some chocolate, whatever you like. And uh, there's going to be... Thank you. Thank you, Blake, for being here. Thank you, Schwam. Thank you, Shag. Oh, Michelle, let you back in, brother. That's, that's awfully sweet. All right. My name is Mike. That's going to do it for this Friday. Thank you, everybody, so much. We'll see you next time. Good night.